than uh, Rodolfo and me. Lol. This will go up. But I've got fewer tricycles on my wall. Oh, come on, guys. White Devil. Yep. Uh, that was our team name at uh, final round for me and Joey. Really? White Devils? White yep. Devils? Nope, just White Devil. Oh. Alright, so we are live. Yay! What's up, guys? Let me open so, up the... Let me... Hey! Well, welcome hey. to another week of uh, the Kane event. Yeah, the best shit ever, <laughs> a.k.a. So, we have uh, our regulars, Cody and uh, Rodolfo, um, and then we have our guest, Asa. I'm a guest? Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you were running this shit now? <laughs> yeah, I, I, pretty much. Derek, Derek can't run exploit for the life of him. I can do it. Damn. <laughs> Already going in. Well, that was it. Was fun having you on, Asa. Hey, well, <laughs> you know hey I do what I can. Yeah, yeah, right. That was a that was a, one of the quickest L's you've ever taken. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it as it is. All right, so Asa. He's, uh, uh, in case uh, people didn't know, he went to uh, Northwest Majors this past weekend and uh, got to experience mm -hmm. the console version, the yes. quote-unquote newest build. Well, not the, yeah. Eddie, not the Eddie Kumo one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not that. It was the it was the one we had at final round, which was the the Lee Miguel one. Oh, so did anyone actually use well? I know Jody used Lee, I'm sure, right? But did anyone, like, really play Lee or Miguel much at the tournament? Jody was at uh, St. Louis, right? But he oh. played Shaheen. Oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Uh, he tried to use him at the uh, final round. Yeah, and I know he was uh, kind of disappointed in his performance there. Yeah. Yeah, he was really disappointed. To say the least. That's why it's better to go in with uh, no expectations. Because, uh, you know, that way, you don't get disappointed. He, he, everyone needs to go into tournaments with my mindset. You're just going to fucking lose anyways. That's so just <laughs> oh, yeah. go, go hang out and yeah, have that, some fun. I don't think that's your mindset. That's like that's the cane tech. That's a pretty that's good cool. philosophy, Rodolfo. Where'd you learn that one? Damn. <laughs> no. Canes is just don't even go. Because, don't, don't go. <laughs> don't go. Because Lily sucks. Or, uh... Or uh, if you or go but sleep in and get DQ'd. Yeah, that right. was that's the old philosophy though. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work anymore. That happened last year for me actually. A final round, I got uh, I couldn't compete in tag two because it was early pools and I just slept in. Oh, dang! Yeah, I know. The, I know how that feels. Early pools always suck. All right. Yeah. So, getting are we going to get back on uh, NWM? Yeah. Northwest yeah. Majors. Yeah. Tell, uh, tell us all about it. What? Give us the full recap, Asa. Uh, I'll give you the recap. Uh, no, actually, it wasn't an hour-long wait to play a game of oh. Tekken 7. It was awesome. uh, probably five minutes, and if you got lucky, it depended on where the crowd was. Like, There was two sets of, like, because we had seven setups, because one of the PS4s uh, was busted. Like, uh, blue screen or some shit. Of course. And it depended where all the... All where the crowd was essentially like the the group of like maybe forty of us was so if there was a majority on one side like the other three setups would probably have like three people rotating on them like constantly so it was really easy to get games I got like probably ten times the amount of games I got at Northwest Majors than I got at Final Round hmm. but one I suck so I, holding a holding a console at Final Round was a uh, ooh that was tough so. I mean, it was kind of hard to get games at final round comparatively to Northwest Majors. Northwest Majors, it was way, way easier to get games in. Like, and I can assume that as well at Wizard World, because the first time I went to Wizard World last year in Portland, like, there was just open, open arcade setups just to play on. So that's what we did. And where at Northwest Majors, we, we all got our games in. It, was, it wasn't crowded at all. Not that big of a turn up, but it was like last minute when we knew Tekken 7 was going to be there. It was like four days after 
four days after final round, we got the word, hey, Tekken 7 might be there. And then, like, the next day, we got confirmation that it was going to be there. So it was like, okay, three weeks to get to let a bunch of people know. Because I had a bunch of people tell, asking me if there was going to be Tekken 7 there. So when we finally found out, we found we got an idea of who was coming. Uh, Princess Ling showed up and won the whole damn thing. Uh, that was expected, I guess. I can't really... Like, Congo Jack gave him not even that much of a run for his money, even though he played well throughout most of the tournament. It was, uh, it was fun. I mean, I, I didn't do well, so... Hmm. So, how, uh, how many setups were there, roughly? Seven. Oh, seven. Okay. Yeah. We had... They had eight PS4s, but one was blue screen, so we had seven <laughs> setups. Rip. Sounds um, yeah. sounds exactly like final round actually. Yeah. Yeah, but much less people, much less attendance. Yeah. yeah. So. Your attendance was how many entrants? Or it was like what forty five? Forty five, forty six, something like yeah. that. Yeah. And there were eighty something entrants at final round, maybe even a hundred. Yeah. It was about well, a hundred. Well no, there were, there, were, no, no, there were exactly sixteen pools with eight people apiece in them. Yeah. Here's a here's Ooh. a question. What time did they uh shut down? So I yeah, nine right. o'clock. Both days, nine o'clock. Was that the entire venue? That was no. That was just Tekken. Uh, the venue closed at eleven thirty. Yup. Well, yeah. Hmm. And Friday, the first day that we had it, Friday the first day we had it, they didn't even open till five o'clock. I think I didn't show up till like seven. Um, so I only got like two, like an hour's worth of games while I was there because I was <laughs> like saying hey to a bunch of people. When you but, say. When you say they didn't open, you mean Tekken or the or the the event, okay. the event? Because Friday, event. Friday, usually people come in and just pick up uh, badges. Oh, and see. since Tekken was one day, the venue opened up at I want to say nine o'clock. It opened at nine in the morning, and then we had all day to play till casuals at till the tournament started at twelve, and then that went through to till pool play at four, and then we started top sixteen. At like four thirty, four o'clock. I can't, I'm not. No, no, no. We started at four, and then we did top eight at six, and then we stuck around after top eight. They closed down at nine, and uh, that was it. Tekken didn't come back on Sunday, so I. Oh, oh man, that is super, super. What? Pretty. Yep. what a, and you certainly got your money's worth, right? Mm. Well, yeah. So what was what was the venue fee? Uh, venue was thirty five dollars. Hmm. For spectate and casuals. Oh my gosh, that is. Uh... I had a late register, which was seventy five. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and entering Tekken Seven alone was ten dollars. It's better than like entering Street Fighter. That okay. was twenty alone. So so, so it's eighty five, right? Yeah. And uh, just curious, like, how much was parking? I'm sure. Oh no! Uh, parking was free because it was it was at the same venue um, as the like past like three Northwest majors. It was out of college, so it was just like it was free parking. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. oh, I wish UCI did that. Seventy five <laughs> bucks, dude. That's like, isn't that kind of like Evo Evo fee entry? Yeah, dude. I could take fifteen women out to eat with that. Mm -hmm. Five bucks a piece. Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> but. He's not wrong because, like, like as Will saying in the chat, like, it I did do emergency like registration because I didn't have the money to register, uh, like, like a couple days beforehand, which would so have been had, so. So you have more money later. Yeah, I had more money. Well, I got paid. <laughs> oh, okay. I would have but, borrowed the the twenty bucks from somebody, but whatever. Whatever. I mean, and so got registered. And yeah, that was a lot of money. I mean, it, considering the drive that I have, was it worth it? How long was your drive? It's like an hour and a half. Oh, okay, that's. Uh, it's yeah, not bad, whatever. but I mean, I drive that shit for casuals right now. Yeah, I would. Well, well my, I drive. My closest I, I drive. Oh, look, 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 I drive forty-five wow. minutes to play tag two solo with these guys. So I, I don't know. I don't want to do that. Three hours. Mm. Try three hours. Ooh. Uh, well, we'll try eight hours for Derek, I guess, now. But, I mean, 
everyone is like everyone that was there already like that came from out of town they were all saying like oh uh we want to come back for the next one that's in september so i mean it's going to even out because tekken 7 will be released then a lot more we have way more time ahead it's actually announced that it's going to be there so i mean everyone oh, yeah. I, mean, to I that. assume you could expect i mean when i was at the one northwest i went to it was pretty pretty damn good and i can imagine that september is good the fact that you have it i mean it's gonna be a completely different yeah different uh, game I, I mean we probably would have had more people coming out if we had known tekken 7 was going to be there Right, but right. By, by the time movies. by the time you guys announced it, I was looking at flights from Florida. It was over four hundred bucks. Oh yeah, and like uh, four hundred yeah. bucks, and then sixty plus. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's like all that. That, uh, that Wizard World STL was the same weekend. Wizard World yeah. and uh, I think West Coast War Zone as well. well mm. there was no, there. no, no, I don't think so. I think it. I know NCR is next weekend, so Wait, they had to do. Isn't it this coming weekend? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. This one, I'm I'm thinking in the past. Is that going to be on console or arcade? Uh, that's probably going to be on card console because that's the one Mark's carting around. So uh, expect seven setups until somebody robs his freaking car again. <laughs> Wait, so that, that, that one that was gonna, that one's going to have that, Eddie. I'm uh, not sure about that. I'm probably not. Oh, like, oh. thinking about it, like, when have they given us a build, like, so many, like, like without, like, months, like, time in between? We're probably not going to see Eddie till the game's full release. Like, yeah, I, I, I would won't, agree. Probably won't see it in, like, tournament play till a game's full release. Yeah. yeah. Good riddance. So, yeah, I mean, but Northwest Majors, it was it was fun. It, it's fun to have, uh, like, small events are nice because you can pretty much talk to everybody because, uh, like, final round, like, you could talk to everybody, but, it, like, you know, there's so many people cycling through, shit like that, so. And uh, Top 8 was actually pretty fun, pretty fun to watch, actually. Um, so what were the actual results? All I know was Pling followed by Congo. Yeah. Uh, okay, so first was Healing Pongo, and then third was Geese Master. Fourth was Kenji. Um, Woo! Kongo was using uh, Raven, right? Yes. He was using a mixture of Raven and Gigas, actually. Oh, really? He, yes. he, only, he only played Gigas once. Oh, in versus, the Grand? Yeah, versus um, Peeling, because Sonkin told him it probably would be better to use Gigas against him because uh, Trey doesn't really know how to go against Gigas that well. So he would guess a lot. Well, well Gigas, Where he uh, could just do that fucking that hammer fist over and over again. and Which doesn't work on AOP, we saw. It, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, Gigas is supposed to be a, hard, a super hard matchup for him because uh, downfall one hits AOP and AOP dot duck. Yeah, so mm. at least that's what uh, JT Chinoy has told me. He told me he has. Yeah, uh, you talk to you, you talk to Sunken talking to Congo, and he's like, "No, nah, man, look, Gigas is that shit. All right, this is what <laughs> you gotta use against Princess Ling. All right, and Trey won't know what to do." And uh, he did, and he switched to Raven, which he did better as. But I mean, like me and Sunken were literally watching Trey, just watching him as a person play, and. The dude didn't even look phased. He looked like he was at his home playing online. Like, mm hmm. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Although, I, I uh, perhaps in the Gigas matchup, I, I guess me and Congo's not too familiar with Shao Yu because you guys don't have any Shao Yu players in Seattle, right? No, not really. No. Yeah, we, so we have we have we have one, but he barely plays right now. Even oh, I see. Yeah, I used to play Jack a lot against uh, Princess Ling. And one reason I don't like playing Jack anymore is because when you play when you play against Shao Yu, it's so stale. Even though it's the way to win, like yeah. literally all you're gonna do. I mean, maybe Congo did it. He would have won. I can't tell you for sure. But like literally, if I was Gigas, this is the only move I'd be doing. Like like Kane said, you're just doing down forward one. That's the only move. You're just doing this, <laughs> and that's the whole matchup. And I don't know if that's fun, but maybe you know. I I presume that would be the way to win. That's why JT has a hard time. 
Yeah. Again, shall you? Welcome to the fuckling talk show. <laughs> Pretty much. Man, I don't like that character. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. Are you going to tell us all your reasons why? Because if you start, no, I you're have my, Rodolfo my reasons, going for about my an reasons, hour. My reasons are probably fucking awful. So. Mm. Well, let's hear him. I mean, we've already rehashed a lot. Maybe you'll give us something new. Uh, I mean, dude, AOP is just fucking busted. That shit pisses me the fuck off. It's so dumb. Oh, okay, yeah. It is pretty strong. And that's literally that's literally my issue with Wing. It's just AOP. It's I mean, like, oh, I'm, I'm sure that's cool. I'm sure that's really everybody's issue with Wing. Is AOP is <laughs> very strong in this game, yeah. as well as her damage being higher and raise drive. So <laughs> now that now that we've gotten that out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> now let's move on to why Brian is busted again. <laughs> no. Oh no! No, so, we're good. Mm. So NCR uh, this coming weekend is actually kind of interesting. Um, I wish I could go, but uh, my job won't let me go. Um, no. But I, I feel like we should be seeing a lot of the regulars. Um, Bronson, maybe Jimmy, maybe Trey. Jimmy is not going. Oh. Just so you know. That's odd. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, they already released pools. Oh, did NCR. they? Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking them up now. I'll, Damn, I'll put the link in the I chat. I am not uh, in the no zone. Um, I know a um, couple couple of people from my area are going down Monstroso and Silence. They're going down okay. for NCR. I got offered to go, but I said uh, no. Nah, I don't feel like sitting in a car for fucking fourteen hours again. <laughs> you know if Kenji or uh, Geese Master are going. I'm not sure. I didn't talk to them about it. Hmm. I heard it's just—it's not even in like an official tournament. It's just kind of like a. On the side. Yeah, like wow, we have Tekken. Yeah, it's it's planet. not listed on their webpage on the front. Yeah. 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 Mm. I think yeah. Bronson might have it on his Twitter. Let me check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a side tournament. But it seems like, at least from people I know on Facebook, a lot are inter- interested in going, and they were asking me to go. But uh, I have to head out of state for uh, Nobody wants you to go. <laughs> Rip. No, I'm looking at their website now, and if you click on uh, registration closed, it brings up freaking Darude Sandstorm. So, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Uh, I just uh, messaged you, Cody, the, uh, the brackets. Tight. Hold on. Wait, you mean on Facebook. Skype? Facebook. Facebook. All right, cool. All right, one second. I'm assuming you're just on my my private name. I, I think I don't know. <laughs> just the te- wait, no, the non-private name. Yeah, yeah, the one I leave only for Tekken Scrubs. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um, All right, Will posted it in the. Um, yep. In the chat. Thanks, Will. No thanks to Asa. Well, oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Cody. Sure. Where Sweet. Are you again? Yep, indeed. <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm. so Asa, yeah, at Northwest Majors, like I'm in, I'm interested possibly in going in September. How's mm-hmm. the like? Who did like? How far were you from your house? Like, or who did you room with? I how? I just drove from my house. Oh, okay. That's the thing. It must be nice. Mm. It's it's not bad. I mean, like, I was gonna bring Trey to uh, my house but he was already in the hotel with like Weapon X so it's just like whatever mm, yes okay Weapon X also on top 8 in Northwest Majors as well um, yeah. Sonkin as well yeah. oh, just really? for James there, there's top 8 yeah who did uh, who did Sonkin use Leo? Gigas uh-huh. Gigas and oh, Leo what the fuck hmm <sighs> yeah Sonkin he's uh he's going through I want to say character practice, but yeah, he likes Gigas and Leo a lot. Yeah. Well, what's not to like about Leo and FR? <laughs> That's true. Well, that character is so good. Holy moly. Did you play against mm-hmm. her at all? Yeah. Uh, Jermanji finally picked her up for like the last like two hours and we got in some sets. And man, Leo is, Leo is hard, dude. <laughs> so good. Like what? Elaborate uh, a little bit. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, yes. I don't you're know. You're on a like, goddamn talk show, and you're like, nah. No, no. Like, I don't know. 
What's that fucking new kick of hers? The Walking Four. Three plus four. Think so. Oh, the orbital, you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, up three plus four. That thing is pretty fucking good, and uh, I don't know, like, Leo. I don't know. Leo's always giving me a hard time. I, I just don't know her range well, so. Oh. That's yeah, just she's, me, though. She's she's yeah she's just overall stronger in FR. Yeah. yeah I'm surprised Jumanji didn't play her sooner because uh, Yoshi. Oh. Oh Turners, my god. I'm, you know how know, how much we've actually bitched at him about playing. Leo in T7, he's like, I'm a Yoshi main. I only play Yoshi. I've, I'm a Yoshi main. Like, I only want to play Yoshi. Like, 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 yeah, so I was about to say, is that like James? Exactly, right? <laughs> and and he he gets through the whole tournament, gets bopped out of pools, I believe, uh, playing Yoshi. And then like right when that happens, he starts playing casual. So he plays Leo, and he's like, I don't know why I didn't play Leo, man. <laughs> I, I got. I'm also a Leo main too. I don't know why I wasn't playing her, even though past week he's been spouting about uh, playing Yoshi. Yeah, that's why it's important to keep up with the patch notes because. Uh, yeah, just yeah. pick the broken shit. Mm-hmm. You can play yeah, it. it's yeah that too, and it's also a solo game, so it's not like you can save yourself by picking a high tier. Anyways, yeah. you have to you have to really pay attention to the patch notes and understand. And in a way, dumb, dumb yourself down a bit that far because these characters are really strong. And if you're trying to overthink it, you're playing it wrong. Yeah, dude, like cool. dragon, like you know, Leo, just do this. The best move ever. Dragon yeah. off, you know, like Mr. Miyagi, dude. That's FR right there. Yeah. Like, just go ahead and give us some more stuff to make gifts <laughs> out of, please. <laughs> I'm working on a shooting stars gift for you. <laughs> uh, is that what? It, oh, is no. that what the actual move name is called? No, 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 no! I'm talking about the meme. It's a oh, yeah. You ever seen a video like people like someone will trip on video and then it'll go. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. Yes, no? basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I that's uh, that. he's gonna that's shoot me to be seen. Do my uh, doing DJ up four. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just rocking back and forth. <laughs> oh god. Yep. So. Ogre said, Ogre brought up the, the Speed Kicks roasting video. Um, I'm, I'm not really going to touch on that much because there's really nothing to be said there. Um, eh. You can just read it. Yeah, it's like, how, how do you go further than that? Yeah, I mean, if you want to <laughs> read all the child's drama, you could just go to, you know, Tekken Online Matchmaking, which is the perfect place uh, to talk about it. Fantastic spot for... Yeah. For drama yeah, just, just on an yeah. online matchmaking page. Yep. Yes, aka Tekken Online, bunch of fucking children. <laughs> right. Yeah. Tekken Online drama. Well, <laughs> yeah, we, just we Todd, will. Tekken Online drama. So, what we will talk about is um, kind of like in, international comp coming to the US. Kind of, mm. It kind of touches on that because Speed Kicks was uh, kind of roasting like a lot of the ITS members. Um, but people are saying, "Hey, you should you should actually be paying attention to international slash Korean comp." So um, I read a thread on Sparrowgen's uh, Facebook the other day uh, regarding the Wizard World STL, and uh, there was a lot of arguments going on about like uh, Blood Red, uh, kind of old school lay player, mm. who was saying like. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter because the the Koreans are gonna are gonna own everybody up, and uh, you know, or international people, I guess, in general, are, are just gonna own everybody up in the in the tournament. You guys, you guys need to pay attention to that instead of like bickering, which uh, which is a good point, right? Um, I think about half and half. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think there's 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 benefits to both sides, but yeah, go ahead, finish whatever you're saying. Yeah, so. Regarding that, um, if you think about like the history of like international competition in the U.S., um, I think it's I can't even remember us beating like the Koreans and actually taking a tournament. Has it ever happened? Uh, MLG Tekken Six consistently, yeah. 
The only one that was won by Koreans, uh, Whole Man won one, but only after he lost to Core at the first one in Tekken 6. Uh, I think, did Nin win one of them? I don't remember. I think he did. But he can, then lost to Anakin and also lost to um, GM. Yeah. Nee never won one. He came to two of them. Lost to Fab. Lost to Core. Lost to GM. Uh, JDCR came to MLG Dallas, lost to Core, and I forget who else, but he didn't even make it into top eight. Um, Adung came, the Oscar player. He lost really badly. Oh, really? Um, yeah, he got destroyed. Uh, I think Jimmy beat him up pretty bad, and somebody else, I forget who it was. Um, Holman didn't make it into top eight at MLG Dallas. Tekken 6. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a considerable amount. And, uh, back in, I mean, if you count T5.0, which is a busted ass game, but I mean, there were you no. Know, I mean, they had it just as busted as we did, and Mad Dog Jen was playing Steve, and fucking Crow won both of them back to back. I think, was it? Mishimas, Mishi Master was here and lost. You was here and lost. Whole man lost in Tekken Six at Evo. Uh, so I mean, there's a there's more of a history than a lot of people will admit. Um, I mean, in general, yeah. I mean, they're the guys you have to look out for, but they're not the only people. And I think it's pretty healthy to keep up. You know, there, there's both a sense of reality and also a sense of drive that you have to maintain. In no matter what game you're playing, now tag two. America was fucking terrible in general. <laughs> oh, like, man, we got like, I, I, No, I, I'm part of it. I don't give a shit. Like, I'll, I'll say it. In general, we were garbage at that game compared to Asia. Um, pretty much because it was a really busy game. There's a lot to learn all the time and staying on top of it. And our mentality of how to play the game was really off on a lot of it. But, I mean, in, in solo games, the cheap games... I mean, we we do a lot better than than a lot of people give give us credit for, mm. and there's there's more of a history than people remember. Yeah, I was, I was watching, um, I was rewatching uh, the finals of of JDCR again for Tag Two, and because uh, actually that's one of my favorite matches to watch um, in in the Tag Two era. But anyway, um, I remember there's like a little fact ticker on the bottom that said like JDCR has never lost a tournament in the US. So Incorrect. In tag? Oh in tag, yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. In tag. So I was just I was just kinda of basing off that and uh I know that I don't believe the Asians have ever lost in seven yet, but you know, we don't have the game, so that I guess maybe we can by all Asians? I mean, because, like, uh, nobody got put out by Geese Master at Evo. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking uh, about, like, overall. Oh, well, I mean, okay, you load up 20 of them and bring them over. I mean, the the, the probability keeps going up. But, I mean, if, if Saint would have been the only one that came over for final round, he would have lost. Hmm. Yeah. That's my main mm. fear. Not, not, not that you mentioned, Cody. It's like, you know, if, we, if, they're, if they said only two or three... We might be able to overcome the odds, but it's like if they send the army, I'm telling you, like, there's so Ooh. many mid-level Bryans. But, but I, mean, I mean, it's not even about Brian anymore. There's a lot of mid-level players in Korea and Japan. If they come here, they're going to tear us up really bad, and they're not even that good in their home countries. So, well, that's what everybody well, thought about MLG Dallas, and none of them were even in the top three. Well, I mean, yeah. And there were like eight or nine of them there. Well, and there were people, just, and they were all people with names. I mean, yeah, you well. think about it; they're only sending a few. So, if if we send a few to like, you know, <laughs> Japan or Korea, rip. Well, like, oh, maybe, why, but, maybe, maybe one will get out. Um, one or two. I mean, worlds we got blown up pretty hard. I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, for seven. For, yes, but I mean, you're talking on the scale of timelines here. Like, 
I mean, every for now, everybody is still going to hide behind the we don't have the game thing. And I think right now, with a two-year head start, I think it's very considerable that you have to take that into account. Mm-hmm. Especially when you travel over there to their homeland, get on their home turf, and play against them where they're comfortable, more comfortable. Yeah. You still have to take two to two and a half years in advance into account. Yeah, and... Now, when, once like, it's out and give us like six months, that excuse has to go away. Like that, people oh. can't say that shit anymore. Like, like we've right now, you can, caught up significantly enough. Uh, right caught up? I don't. I don't well, really see caught up, but but yeah, we we at least understand the game. But I mean, there's so much that you have to build into muscle memory before it actually really starts to make a damn difference. I think right now we're just lucky. There's only two seats on the uh, Echo Fox jet. <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Like you, they send over. They send over a bunch of people. Like say Just they make sure they there. make sure they fly United. We'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> no one's getting through then. No, no, exactly not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like you send ten of them over here, we'll probably be able to take out four. Right as of right now. <laughs> I mean, right now, right now, right, right now. now, right now. They right just now. sent over two, and we couldn't take them out of that far. But oh, well, yeah. we took out, we took out one at least. All right. Yeah, but then they're also sending the boss, the boss, <laughs> <laughs> the Big boss Daddy. that's that's won every Tekken strike that he's been on. Oh, Rick uh, Fox, Rick Rick Fox really knows who to pick. Hey, Asa, I have a couple questions about console version. Actually, uh, so uh, you you've played. You've played the arcade version at previous tournaments. Um, yeah. Was there any noticeable, like, extra lag on the console version? Um, if it's not playing on 1080, we were all playing on 720. Oh. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty clean. There's no there's no lag or anything like that. There was one instance where I think the round was over, and I think it was Kenji kicked somebody on the like the weird spot on the wall, and they just fucking warped. Across the stage. Was it, after um, after yeah. the round was over, was it the Kazumi stage? Yeah. Oh yeah, that that stage is hella buggy. Like they've yeah. they've seen so many gifts of that damn thing. Yeah. yeah. That, that that bug's been always been in like a lot of the Wall Tekken games. Like that's been. Yeah. In, it was definitely in the and, but, too. Yeah, but this but, is a fucking. Oh, this it, is it's a bug wonky. and a half, when, man. When it happens, you're just like, huh? Why? <laughs> 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 like, uh, but. We played on 720. Like you could definitely tell it wasn't 1080 when you sat down and played. But I mean, it still looks good. Uh, okay. But there was no lag whatsoever. Hmm. I mean, I, want, I wonder why they played in 720 versus 1080. Maybe they know there's that lag in 1080. Uh, well, because... I mean, you listen to Perfect Legend all throughout uh, final round. Ooh, man, that was fun to listen to that guy. Uh, he was just bitching about 1080 a lot, and a lot of people actually were too. Like. Uh, hmm. Because there was a, there is a delay, like a small, I don't know how what it is, a delay on 1080 as of right now, on that version of the game. Okay, that so makes it, so it's like you you might miss a punish. Okay, so I'm asking. Uh, the reason I brought that up is because Saint and JDCR were saying, or was it? Yeah, Saint. Uh, they they were saying that there's a lag at final round because mm-hmm. all the monitors. The, the wrong. time. Yeah, he said the timing was somewhat different. Yeah. He said, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Now, now they didn't come up to a conclusion on why it was. They were just saying that yeah, it feels different than what we're used to. I don't think they tried to speculate on whether it was the game or the monitor, but they said something was off. So taking that into account, that's I'm sure that's why they had Northwest Majors at 720. Mm, probably. Yeah, probably. yeah, I think that I think that halfway through the tournament and final round they started changing shit. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah. I could I could tell the difference from day one to day two. I mean, from like tournament to when I was out, and then on Sunday when playing all casuals, where I was sitting on the stream station for an hour and a half, and everything was actually coming out. Yeah. Oh, really? Interesting. So, Asa, those the uh, console builds you were playing on were they just regular PS4s or were they PS4 Pro? They were regular PS4s. Mm, okay. I mean, I I'm just speculating. I don't know what's causing the lag. Maybe it could be a hardware issue. Who knows? Maybe it's just, like, it's just too weak. Too weak yeah, to handle 1080. Maybe I, uh, I'm not 100. percent I know that like mm-hmm. I, remember, I remember back when we were playing on the PC version at PAX, 
we were running on 4K for a while, and like the delay on that was actually really bad. Like it was actually hard for stuff to come out, and like it wasn't optimized. That was their saying. So we went down to 1080 uh, during that weekend, and it was actually pretty okay. Like on the PC version, when we went down to 1080. So I don't know. Like I would. I wouldn't assume that there's anything to do with the monitors because the monitors are all native 1080. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, Tag 2 won't even run at 1080. Like, it, it changes your PS3's output to 720 because that's what the game runs at. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think that we should really speculate that, you know, there's going to be a difference between 1080 and 720 on the actual release because when you're, you know, you're doing this sort of stuff, you're, when companies do this stuff, they're they're doing different things at the same time. They're doing a lot of shit like, system optimization and, and all the other stuff at, at the exact same time. So I, I guess it's something that we should definitely be ready for. To Have our eyes for open for, released. but yeah, oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but I mean, per- somebody should probably run some tests between 720 and 1080 when it's released. Yeah. They're giving but. us the uh, Japan special or the Asian special where they all got the, you know, the test builds yeah. for 7.0 and FR and they were all really weird and laggy. So they're like, yeah, you know, let's give them a case for it. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's uh, that's what we ran on it. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to hard for me to say, like, you know, from vanilla to the arcade, ver- like, uh, from the vanilla arcade to FR to, like, uh, the console version, it's hard for me to, like, determine, like, what was super laggy about what, because it's been so long since I've played each one. Like, I haven't played FR arcade in, like, probably, like, half a year where I've played console more recently, right. and I haven't played vanilla since we've had, we had the test servers. Even though we have a round one, I just don't go up there. It's like two hours. Fuck that. Yeah, it's probably just because the game's not done yet, which is just yeah. really, really unfortunate. Yeah, I think it would be an enormous mistake for Namco to have some shit in there where you actually have the pro to actually play the game as it's intended to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's things that, that you could optimize even further for the pro, but like you know, obviously loading times or whatever, that's not a, even that big of a deal. But Man, if it, I, I mean, we wouldn't even... That would, that's not even an issue, seeing as on right, this, on these consoles, it's so fucking quick anyways. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Well, it's because if you, once you're used to, to the arcade, yeah, that's an enormous change. Yeah. I mean, the only, the only thing that would change anything in there is processor load time and you know, the speed of a SSD, but, yeah, no big deal. I think SSDs... Uh pretty good idea when it comes to tech and i feel like yeah i think so too yeah. i've got a regular ps4 I, I don't even fucking know those don't have ssds in them do they mm. those are regular hard drives yeah no you i can might get you can get one into mine for though yeah yeah i'll probably swap one into mine Ooh, when it comes swap out one in? yeah yeah, yeah. It's, you uh, can, you can, super easy yeah you could swap one into the ps3 mm-hmm. awesome all right yeah I you just have that. to have a usb bootloader so it yeah. loads the firmware onto it mm. the uh Speedrun community ha- likes to bitch about that kind of shit. So the pro, the pro does not have an. <laughs> How SSD. would you know? Uh, I don't know. I'm no speedrunner. Get out. <laughs> so I saw. The pro does not have an SSD, but it does have a slightly faster hard drive. Well. Uh, ah. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you get like a, if you get a dope SSD like um, Samsung Evo 850 or some shit like that. Um, Ooh, product placement for Samsung. <laughs> oh, chill. Trying to get yeah. sponsors. Sponsor the Soon enough, event, we'll Samsung. have a little Samsung logo in the bottom yeah, of right. the screen here. Yeah. Well, the only myself. the only sponsor the only sponsorship he'll get is another SSD, unless they never contact us again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say our damn name. Yeah, I won myself, and it's uh, it's pretty tight. So, uh-huh. I mean, yeah. swap swap it in. I I know some. I was watching um. I was watching my friend play uh, Resident Evil, the new one, and the loading times on the normal PS4 are pretty horrendous. So, yeah. um, oh. I, I doubt I doubt Tekken's gonna have like too long of a loading times, but it's just like, you know, when you want to play, you want to play, you know. Mm. Right. That's well, true. we got replay, instant replay now. Oh yeah, so, that's I mean, right. Just oh, like my oh my god! Thank that the is, Lord. Yeah, thank the Lord, and thank the Lord for fucking stage select. Oh yes. my god, that's yes. so good. Because you can, oh cause you can actually use that now for people who force fucking versus mode during tournament. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you're just like, fuck, now we got to go back to character select because I want to change stage, even though we should be playing arcade anyway. You know, one of the <laughs> worst things about like watching arcade Tekken 7 streams is that the stage doesn't fucking change. 
Yeah, right. Ever. Yeah. Like it for me, even though I oh. love watching it, I love watching Tekken. Fuck, it is it can like I watch it sometimes to go to sleep. Because <laughs> Yeah, I do that too. It, it, it really too. works. Even if it's like two people that I really want to watch, if I'm not actually sitting there picking apart the video, like if I'm watching it for entertainment only, dude, I'm asleep in like ten minutes. Oh, it's so it's to, so easy. I have to have a focus on what I'm trying to find out of this and, and be looking for it or picking apart the meta between the two players or men. Now I'm gone. Yeah. It it's so easy to go to sleep to that stuff, man. I don't know. Yeah. It's like ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> AS, ASMR tech. ASMR with the same stage same sound and like like the random sound effects from each character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, just night, night. you just hear random like lucky chloe shit for like three hours in your ear oh yeah <laughs> or, or hear her dying for three hours oh god it's so good <laughs> put you right a, to sleep yeah this brings up a, uh, i was reading the chat and will old man will he, he brought up a good point did you old see man, on the stage select was there a uh like particular stage button you could use kind of like taxi like the training stage or the you know something evolution stage Oh, like, you know, the triangle the, the, the or R1? Like, oh, like the secret stages? Like yeah. the fucking Dubai and fuck, like uh, the, the training stages? I don't know, that, like they, I don't know stage? that they would yeah. need to do that because the reason that they that they were doing it in Tag 2 is because the fucking screen was already full by the time they yeah. had them. <laughs> so, <laughs> but now right. you, you cycle through them on a wheel and there's, what, 20, fucking 21 or 29 stages on the damn thing now? Holy moly. God it's damn. ridiculous. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah I don't think I like I, I d- d- dude. I do not. One thing I don't usually ever check down at the bottom, like the little scroll things or like any of the options. That just kind of fucking get me in the goddamn game. I'm gonna lose already. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just curious because uh, I knew I know a uh, certain someone who I will not name who uh would always go to random select in the last Tekken, and he Press would always get a certain training? stage. For some particular reason, in in the hmm, build that was at, in the yeah in the build that was at final round, if you picked uh, you picked uh, random, you almost always got the snow stage like oh, over ninety yeah. percent of the time. Yeah, it was pretty stupid, and you go uh, to it, and you yeah. I know at Northwest Majors, Trey and Weapon X would ask if they got it they would get if they got the akuma stage they would ask to switch because there was lag on it yeah there was significant lag i and i had match against joey that was on that shit and it was terrible interesting yeah (laughs) yeah not optimized yeah Yeah, not optimized at all was it okay i mean if you guys can go back that far did it feel that way at nationals or was there arcade fine no i didn't ever felt any well they're the the skips that are due to yeah, the things skips. being picked up. But no, there was no what you would call stage lag. I mean, similar oh. to what you had in Tag 2. Ah, uh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah it, it felt just like the Tag 2 shit. Like, it just, the frame rate just, and then picks back up. And you're like, yeah. oh, this fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to commend Namco on adding a bunch of stages because... Yes, even I mean, though some of them are fucking stupid looking. Yeah, but. that's true. <laughs> but like, oh man, like 7.0, I feel like there were like five stages. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I agree. And everyone wanted the wall breaks, like the floor break stage. Yeah. Oh, my oh, god. Oh, oh my Everybody oh, wanted that. And you tech? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, you're supposed to go to random select, and then some person would just like tap left twice. <laughs> oh, now well, I have the favorable stage for my 7.0 character. Or fucking nationals where it was saint picking the snow stage over and over again over and over again uh, yeah. hey uh Ooh. rodolfo who who are you saying always picked the training stage was it somebody who's in the chat uh let me check really quick together I because the, the one who the is n- notorious across the nation for that is gamble really? oh well no i wasn't talking about gamble he was talking but- about avery you're talking no, about not, the guy that was. <laughs> you weren't talking about Avery. He's done that shit to me. What? Wow. Okay. Well, actually, now so how many that, cheaters do we have? Shame, shame on Rib. Shame on Gamble. And for the un, you know, anonymous person, I am identifying. Yes, I know. If you're you're in the listeners podcast, yes, I know you did it, cheater. And maybe it's the reason why you won tournaments because your awesome combo team on the combo stage. <laughs> we know who the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly who he's talking about. 
Because yeah. he, he's somebody he hates on anyway, so. Yeah, yeah I, like, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. That's all I'm going to say. I'm sure Not you guys can figure me. it out. Judging he, by the tone of my voice. I, now that I think about that, I think that actually happened at uh, KIT. But um, didn't work out. You know, I always, I always, I always used to pick the small stages in T six uh, when I used Brian, because <laughs> Brian, Brian was so dumb at the wall, in my opinion. Of course, I mean now, I mean, and once the the double taunt shit was found out, I mean, what's the difference? Uh, Nobody uh, see anybody implementing it. Glorious, glorious. It's, can you do? Can you, Rodolfo? Can you do double triple taunt and make it work? Uh, like, what do you mean, like, like? Double tap the taunt input, or do you mean yeah. taunt dash? Like, no, no, look. not not taunt dash taunt. I mean, just input it twice, and it tracks 100. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've tested it. Yeah, it, it works. It's yeah, I know it does. I know it does. He's asking like, if you can do it consistently. Consistently? Yeah, can, uh, no, I, I haven't practiced it. I just like you know, it's pretty simple to implement though. When you get yeah, a there's nothing to it. Just tap tap, and it's like T6. Like he'll do yeah, the exactly. freaking you know. It just Spinning turns ballerina, mid taunt. And it's hey, give us give us a visual. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> I'm trying to see. We'll do the regular. Ready? So regular taunt after check roll. And, you know, I'll do uh, down three two. Try to get get ready to clip. And then so a regular taunt, the opponent's rolling this way. He'll just whiff. He'll just go Ugh, and look like an idiot. But what happens is when you double taunt, he goes like. Ugh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even see any of that. <laughs> All I saw was ass. Yeah, so he does that like 360 taunt. It's it's glorious. It does work, but uh, you still have to te- you still have to uh, how do I say it? You mean time? So you have to time the follow up based on the initial the initial exactly. animation. You have to yeah. You have to time the follow up based on the initial input of the of the first taunt. So, but you really just have to get it in your brain. You sit there and practice it for like a few hours. It's fine. And Jimmy says he's doing a triple taunt now because it helps him actually uh, time it better. He just <laughs> mashes it three times. And oh, dang. Yay. Oh. So. I didn't hear about that, but that, you know, I am, as an avid Brian player, I'll take all the edges I can get. <laughs> Wonderful. Avid, I'll, take, I'll take all the tech. Hey, uh, Weapon X, um, I don't feel ashamed picking stages, but I know in a lot of tournaments now uh, it's banned to pick stages, thanks to Kenji, <laughs> who would always pick... Thanks to Kenji? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Thanks to Kenji, because he would always pick the uh, the temple stage and then, like, I know I know Rip would get so pissed off at that and then, like, I guess they started banning it. I've always... I mean, I, it's like, always been banned. I've never been to a tournament where that wasn't exclusively in the rules that was uh, that uh, stage that select? stage was yep. yeah mm. absolutely. I've always uh, I've always just thought like it it seems like that's how that would work. I never like looked into it, but you pick random at a tournament and then yeah. you just get whatever stage. Okay, well I maybe, would say maybe it just wasn't every enforced. tournament I've been into in the past few years. I mean, it's at least been in the rules, but yeah, it's almost never enforced. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like I mean, no one's paying attention, so it's like. You, I mean, you'll you'll look kind of like a like a hard ass about it. Like, hey, no random selects. You know, he totally won the game already, but mm-hmm. it is in the rules. You know, it should be random selecting. So yeah, and on the arcade, you had to watch. You'd have to watch both people at the same time because on a stream, you're only watching whoever, whichever one's being streamed. On the other one, yeah. you'd have to if nobody's watching, and you wouldn't even know the other person was stage selecting. Oh, exactly. thing, yeah, and the yeah, thing when, was when two monitors. It's not single. Yeah. Oh the, man, the cheating was in full, you know, full the force. Cheating? <laughs> the cheating. I think I like and I think there was This is like the lowest level of cheating I could imagine, but I think right. it was like winner like got priority of what stage they got cuz I think it was Saint picking um picking the winner stage, the the uh, fucking Arctic Snowfall stage during uh, versus Chanel and Chanel wanted walls. Like you could tell 100% because when he finally won, he picked a wall stage, and uh, and then I think Saint won, and then went back and immediately went to Arctic Snowfall, and it was back back to back dashing and down forward twos. Like See, it was so sick. In in that situation, aren't isn't picking stages banned? So why was that allowed? Oh, I guess I don't think Asia doesn't ban it half the time. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. So th- th- it's not a rule in their area, you know. I guess it's a. Uh, it's, it's part a form of the strategy. Of All right, so it's yeah. a Western thing. Yeah. yeah, at least it, in the ones that it, I've seen. At least in the ones that I've seen, I haven't. I've I've always not always many 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 times seen the stage select. They do that shit in Smash because I don't think, like, because a bunch of stages are banned, so you just pick the stage and you counterpick on stages and shit. Yes, yes. Well, because the stages actually can change how the characters interact in that game quite a bit. Yeah, like, really. it's more than just how quickly can you get to a wall. Like, it's in Tekken and fucking yeah. Smash. I mean, it can change the 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 dynamic of the characters entirely. Yeah. Especially for characters like well, I don't want to turn this into a Smash talk, but like you know, Marth can have be. Very heavily counterpick based yeah. on you no know, jumping or not, yeah. having platforms or not. Interesting. So, or being able to get back. So Jimmy brought up that the rule was the first game is random select on the stages. And then, ah, I and see. The rest was loser picks. That's kind of interesting. I see. Um, yeah, hmm. maybe for the console version, maybe someone can tweet this. Maybe they should do something kind of like Injustice, where you can pick a stage, but then it'll do like the you know RNG coin toss. To decide if you want to stage or not. Uh, mm. That seems more fair to me. I mean, I don't know. I feel like. How do you get more fair than random, really? Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, that's, I don't know. A, that's a I don't know. I mean, you want to you know, create a Lord RNG that, you know, if I'm a Brian player, I'm creating a Lord RNG, I get walls. You know, that's. If you're so, playing a what? If I'm playing Brian, you know, I'm praying to the, you know, RNG gods. What the me fuck walls. is RNG? RNG? Oh, it's a stands for random number generator. Oh yeah, and, okay, fine. Yeah, I just didn't, no. I've just never heard anybody apply it to this. <laughs> Wait, really? Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man. Sorry. You know, <laughs> you know the code we're, shit we're playing, all day long, but you know, I, I didn't never heard anybody do Tekken. RNG. Tech. The math of Tekken, man. You know, I'm praying for the wall stages. Yeah, pretty sure it's not just a RNG. I'm pretty sure it's a. It's got an algorithm to it, but okay. I remember in uh, Tekken 6, Rip used to love trying to pick the uh, the yodeling stage, and he actually got yeah, pretty, fuck with people. Yeah, he actually got pretty good at it in in casuals, and it was actually was super annoying because I fucking hate that stage. <laughs> it's super annoying. Yeah, he told pretty me. Sure he, he told he me he did like, in uh, Evo versus Nin. Oh, really? Yeah, he did. He did. Oh yeah, I remember so, that. So annoying. I remember he told me that he learned the timing. So he would get that stage every time in T6. <laughs> oh, you got the oh oh dang! We got the uh, the extreme stage execution now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you oh, push I'm based I'm on uh, yeah because it starts shuffling through like yeah. as soon as you pick your characters. That's why if people like mash their character and then start mashing stage select, very often they'll get the the same one they pick every time. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's peculiar. Well, in that case, you know, Jimmy's playing in chat. It's not random. But, you know, in that case, you know, boys, you know, we're going to have to up our uh, stage select execution at this rate. Yeah, start learning the timings. If you want you want that wall of stage, it's been three seconds after you pick your uh, character. Yeah, that just frame wall stage. Yeah. Yeah, other people would do it based on, like, once you see a certain thing, like, you watch, and as soon as you see, like, a certain stage go by, you... You push X to pick some other stage, yeah. like a, a visual cue. And I, people said that they had success with that. I'm not sure how successful they were, but whatever. I can't think of uh, very many stages that I don't like in T7. I think maybe the... Uh... What about the kindergarten stage? The kindergarten, the new one, the playground. End of stage. Oh, uh, it depends on the music, really. <laughs> What's with that? Oh. oh, you don't like it? No, my God. Why? But whatever. Yeah. I think I'll get used to it. But mm. Mm. Wait, uh, Is, are you are you do you dislike it because of the music or just because how it? Looks? I haven't even heard the music because oh, the only time it. I've heard it is with like you know uh, people talking over it with the last tech and talk thing. Oh, I just hope there's tech and tunes, man. I'm just trying. No, to there's not. Them. Oh, yeah. Really. Huh. Well. Yeah, uh, at least from right. what Harada said on Twitter, that that you can actually uh, you can use old Tekken music that you have to download more than likely pay for. Probably. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just like in uh, Tag Two, if you want to download yep. the official ones, but you can't load your own, according to what uh, Harada said on Twitter. Well, 
Looks like I'm stuck with a that you Either. guys seen that Walla stage with the sky and shit. That that sound that soundtrack is fucking trash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the stage looks okay though. Like video oh, games. it looks it looks fantastic. It sounds awful. Oh, um, uh, am yeah, I? But thinking... I... Oh no, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I was gonna say so. There's like uh, we're, we're talking about the new stages. Uh, are there like two like childish stages? Or am I thinking that is there, <laughs> is there just one? Because I know there's the panda there's... stage. And I, there's I, the I, I panda don't stage, and then there's. Are you thinking of the geometry stage? Yeah, I like that like, geometry like stage. stage. That looks pretty cool. The, uh, yeah. You know, Adam stage from yes. uh, here. Those two, I think there might also be like a similar to like Lily stage, like you said, mm, with okay, like balloons okay. and shit. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just confusing myself with DR. So, you, so you don't must, worry about it. You must have hated the Lily stage in DR, Cody, right? No, it was fine. I mean. So why would you hate the kindergarten stage? Oh, come on, just no, no, I, don't, I just dislike it. I'm, I, I agree, Cody. I agree. Like it was one of my least favorites, but I didn't hate it. And the music wasn't bad. Mm. It was exciting. It was happy. But I, I can't imagine that that kindergarten one being anything but vomit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll probably have to agree with that one. I mean, I, yeah. like getting, I haven't heard it, like, but. It's yeah, like getting that like, magic stage and fucking tattoo. Yeah, that's exactly oh. what I was about to say. Fucking Poland? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, that's the worst music in the entire <laughs> It's game. so fucking bad. Wait, which yeah. one? Yeah. The Poland stage, the magician stage in oh. Tag 2. <laughs> yeah. I know you haven't played Tag 2 in like 11 uh, years, but. No. Bam, bam, I, will, bam. Um, bam. I, I, I dislike the Snoop Dogg stage more. The music. The, the music. Oh, the music. The stage uh, is okay. The Poland stage, the as yeah, the, ba- yeah as bad as they are, I'd put them about equal. Mm. The geometry of that stage is pretty trash. Oh, it's awful! It's just a little square, right? No, the walls are all curved as shit. Yeah. Wait, 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 did you say Poland or the kindergarten stage? Poland. Oh yeah, I hate that fucking stage. Yeah, I, I don't think it's the worst reason. stage. It's the worst stage for the worst music. The worst. Background, the worst. Oh, it's just terrible. Really bad. Yeah, it's it's horseshit. It's really bad. I dropped like three combos versus Nobi because of that fucking stage. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, God. that, that should have been a three-one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, the asymmetrical stages, like especially when the wall is kind of angled like diagonally, and you wall splat them, and they're flat like that. It looks weird because sometimes you'll bound them. But then your wall ender will not connect fully, like your mm-hmm. last hit, and you're just like, "What?" <laughs> and it, that could be no. like the, the, the killing blow, and you're just like, "No, why?" And they get a rage comeback. Thanks, Poland. Thanks, China Sage. Now, somebody in the chat is saying that I hate children um, <laughs> because of the kindergarten stage. I could respond to that, but there is no correct response to that while being recorded online. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> so I just want you to know that I've seen it. And acknowledge, hey, Cody. yeah, acknowledge and your words. There's, there's this look on my face of why, but that's hey, it. Hey, no, Cody. no verbal whatsoever. So, <laughs> do you have any kids? Me, Cody. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you're not going to catch me in some Trump shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> or some some Sean Spicer bullshit. You're not doing it. All right. I'm not going to be in uh, Jeremiah's next video. Oh yeah. Oh man, you we all have to look out for that now, man. Probably. Just by saying that, there will be some shit. But whatever. <laughs> oh so, man. Well, I'm not having. It's not a roasting stream, so. I'm pushing for it to be, but You're pushing for it to be. No, I'm just kidding. I would push for my. <laughs> I would do my own. I'm actually. I've got some ideas. You on a roasting stream. Not even um, just a stream. I've got some media ideas. All right. But Ooh. yeah, we'll look forward to that. Meh. Maybe it'll probably fall pretty damn flat. <laughs> did we talk about Master Raven last week? Yes, we did. Uh, okay, dang. Mm. But damage. what's on your mind? Oh, I was just saying. Uh, Congo Jack was making it look pretty good at Northwest Majors. 
Like, uh, I think I saw it before, but it surprised me seeing it again when he did the full crouch low sweep in Rage Art. I was like, oh, damn, that was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I'm more amazed that shit killed. That did oh, yeah, that too. Oh, damage. my God. Yeah, that did. last hit doesn't look like it scales, right? Yeah, it doesn't. When you finally just fall and hit the ground, it just, yeah. like, chunk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought scaling, I was going to live. Scaling on that particular combo is really awesome because it's just one hit into Rage Art. So it's like, I think wow. Should, I think they should take that out. I think oh. it should be too. I, I, they said they were going to do some more balancing before the game is actually released and then do some balancing after. I feel like that she's going to be adjusted a little bit. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to weigh yeah. in and speculate that, that she needs straight nerfing. But God, I don't, look at some of the shit she's doing. I don't and think how safe she, she is. I don't think she needs it, but I think it should happen because <laughs> that, let's that give somebody just... nerfs they don't need. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because uh, oh, okay. I think I think <laughs> I, I know think, all about I that. I think she does a lot of damage for turtling, like super hard. So. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's Raven's specialty though. Raven's yeah, oh, I know, her. I know, but yeah. it, it's a lot of goddamn damage <laughs> for like one hit. <laughs> Oh yeah, it, it kind of makes up for like the weaknesses. Like before, when I used to play Raven, or I would try Raven out, I felt like if I had the life lead, I'm like, I'm the god, I'm god tier. But when I'm behind, it's like, how do I make it up? Because everything's like risky. Mm -hmm. So, That's but hard. now it's like, if, since you do hella damage, all you need is like one whip punish, and then you get the back turn three plus four at the wall, and you're like, oh, I'm good, you know, woo, just did seventy percent. I'm the best. So. Yeah, we have fucking that's what appears to me. Three plus four. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the juice. Yeah, and like I said last time when we were talking, I don't think that that was ever like when they put that in there in in uh, the older games. I don't think that that was actually intended to be there oh and to be that stupid. But <laughs> but it was lower considered lower tier in tag two, and now it's just sort of in there, and they just haven't fucked with it. Yeah. Just getting the relaunch, like smack on the wall, hit you, and then turn around and relaunch you again, and then hit you yeah. three fucking more times. <laughs> you said, okay. So much fucking damage. It, is, yeah, it, was, it was a little peculiar because um, at Northwest Majors, Congo didn't do the three hit to end after the rewall plat. He would just do, like, he would go for Oki. So I thought that was okay, but, like, I mean, I'm sure he would have pissed off a lot more people if he did, you know, four, three plus four, four, two, or whatever the input is. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so awesome. Because the last hit so hits, hits, hits grounded hit. And it got to just bar. <laughs> yeah. That and she's really up there. Again. Super unnecessary. I agree. That time when we were playing, I talked to Congo. And he, he just told me, like, I, I asked him if he was going to stay Raven the entire time. And he said, yeah, he plans on it because he just wants to learn the, learn the character more and more. So he was still experimenting even in tournament while playing. So. Oh, yeah, that's tough. Stuff not having the damn game and then going into tournament for it, you know. So mm, you gotta get in. You gotta get in a significant amount of time while you're there to build build up what muscle memory you can retain while you're playing. So yeah, that that I had that kind of phenomenon help happen to me at LCQ too. Because basically, mm -hmm. like I was, I knew there were more optimal combos with Brian I could be doing, but since I wasn't really uh, used to it. I just kind of played it safe and did like, well, I mean, even then I was still doing 50%, so it was glorious. It was glorious. <laughs> well, that's bro. Um, well, the days of spending hours optimizing combos like you did in 6 and Tag 2 are gone. Mm, like, that's true. Like, yeah. like, you can do a combo that's like half as hard and lose one point of damage yeah. and hit it 100% of the time due to the way the combo scaling is done now. Oh, yeah, that's too. Yeah. That was another thing. Just look scaling. at Paul. <laughs> Four uh, hit combo, 40 percent. You're like uh, triple death fits <laughs> at the wall. Thanks, Danpo. <laughs> yeah, Astro. Yeah, but that's hype, right? <laughs> uh, woo! I'm woo, fucking hype. ecstatic. Quote, 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 quote. Yeah, it's fucking hype. Ooh. Just watch. <laughs> 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 woo. Thanks. So I'm gonna uh, have to deal with that shit when the game comes out. There's like fucking four Paul players here. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the best one though. Oh yeah, so, I got the uh, one that uses all the moves. Ah, uh, all of them? <laughs> all of them? Whoa. Nobody else uses all of them. He uses all of them. Everybody else does like so four. So crazy! I know. <laughs> so he has he has more than three. 
I'm a, I'm more amazed about that. I didn't know he had more than three. <laughs> you thought he had Thruster, Death Fist, and Demo Man. Or... That's it. That's oh, all. There's shoulder sometimes. Tagging yeah. down forward two. Don't say that's five moves right there. But yeah, yeah, five, 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 five. No yeah, more, no right. more than five. More than five. Yeah. So yeah. Reflex asks asked, uh, do we think that uh, basically the Tekken scene is going to last with T seven? Um. I know we've touched on this a little bit last week, but I'll let. Uh, what do you think, Asa? It depends. Uh, it depends on how the game is released. Um, if it comes out a shit show, you won't see too many people for too long. But the game hasn't been out for two fucking years on console, so they've had a lot of time to fucking look over the release. So that could, that could, like, stop a lot of like the scene, like dispersing, hating the game. You know. What problems um, do you mean? Like if it was released like shit, you mean if, it's like some of the stuff that SF5 had? Like, like yeah. you have to download story mode six months later. Yeah, kind of shit thing? like <laughs> shit like that. Shit like I, that. I don't think that that's going to be a problem yeah, because that's what they're touting in this game with fucking. I mean, because one that's that's what they were. That's what that's why it, that's why they claim it was delayed another six months. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's that's like like the smallest issue. I think the scene can thrive. It just depends on how people, like, if people stay competitive enough in the game. If people come in and they just start complaining about the game, oh, fucking RA. Like, people already complain now about the game, but if we see a significant more, like, more of that, we, like, that the scene won't last. I feel like if people remain positive, try to uh, just, like, work together, I guess more which i mean we don't really even do now but so, if people try to work together more let me ask and, you this what? Uh, elaborate on work together what do you mean by work, work together ban, ban the fucking cancer that's in this scene <sighs> amen amen cody like, god god oh, anyways man. you go ahead but i'll, I'll yeah no we'll... like i mean it, it's more or less like people need to like get with their scene more people need to like, be able to branch out more, like, talk to other people, and, like, help each other get better. I feel like the scene, and make it more, like, with this, like, intro level, like, you know, uh, mechanics in the game, I guess you can say, with, like, RA and, like, easier combos and shit like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, Fucking Cole wrote gasoline players. I, I, I agree. <laughs> Whoa. I agree. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Oh, Whoa. I will agree. That, the scene will thrive on this. <laughs> no, uh, I feel like I feel like if players work together more, like and got together and like, as Cody said, get rid of the cancer in our scene and like try not to be so fucking like try to like go at each other's throats all okay, the fucking so, time. So, Asa, let me ask you this: uh, what? when you say cancer, are you referring to like to toxic players? Mm. What do you refer to? That's the first thing that comes to my damn mind. <laughs> yeah, toxic players, but there is a degree. I f feel like if people are starting shit at tournaments, we get rid of them. If people are starting shit online, whatever. What but do you mean start shit at tournaments? Like, yeah, like, like, what do if you people really are, there? If, if people, well, I mean, <laughs> this is coming from a video game scene. Pe most people go to an offline event and don't start shit, like, don't actually start picking fights with people. Because most of it's settled in a money match or some shit like that. But that's what um, it is right now. I mean, you don't see you don't. Yeah, see but it. our scene. How how big is the Tekken scene really? No, no. In comparison to other esports. What I mean is, like, you don't see people starting fights in. Person. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> so, I feel like I feel like I, I feel like there should be a harsher fucking harsher punishment than people getting their threads deleted off Tom, and that's it. I feel uh, like I don't I don't know punishment wise, but. But I mean, I think that that, that that should actually fucking happen within like a matter of minutes. Like, yeah, I, I don't I'm not really for censorship, but like with it, like groups have to be used for a purpose. And when the purpose is completely tossed out the window by somebody who just wants to shit post yeah. or somebody who just wants they come yeah, in and they start stuff just to just to start shit. Yeah. Yeah. Just to start shit. I mean, there, there's groups for that. Yeah. That, that things have to be kept in the you know in the proper venue, 
I'm not I'm not I'm not commenting on the the more recent like TOM shit because yeah. it actually had because in the end it actually is coming to something that's actually kind of productive in my opinion mm-hmm. with the, the the video that was put out because it's actually kind of funny and kind I, of cool. And that's what I was saying about the competition. If that can keep up, that's fine. Right, like, you know, right. And, yeah, and it had, it didn't have a, uh, an obvious start, the start being yeah. that, I mean, the, there's just shit that happened before it. Anyways, into that. Yeah. But, like, they're the ones that um, that that just continually, like, 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 there's a difference between the culture that was had back in, like, Tekken Zabatsu days and what what happens now in that back in, like, the TZ days. If um, you came in and you're somebody that was just straight toxic with nothing to contribute, you would basically be trolled until you shut up forever or <laughs> you left the whole damn thing or you just get your shit straight deleted like immediately and get back on topic. Like that's that. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't know. It's hard for me to say put an input on that because I wasn't even around during TZ days. Like I came in for a during the Facebook days, which yeah, and you could find information so quickly back then. Oh yeah. Now you yeah. you fucking you you got to post up a make a post and then like fifteen idiots who don't know what they're talking about respond to you. I still I yeah oh. they respond to you with some horse shit that you like doesn't even retain to that or there were like one yeah. person will yeah. say to that and then there will be one conversation tree on that and then everyone else will be spewing some bullshit or talking shit amongst each other. I still I go on TZ just to look up stuff. Like, uh, look up information because people still post there. But, like, I'm just on Facebook just to see the fucking shitstorm that people fucking brew up because it's fucking stupid. So, so, you said you don't like the toxicity, but you're there. I'm there. <laughs> do I, do, but here, so here's, it's a do I, do I, do I, do I post to it? No. So, do we need to start a specific group that's just like tech and media design now? Just TMZ. So basically, and just take all the shit there. So basically, yeah, pretty much. What? And it'll and it'll be fucking like admin by wonky or something. <laughs> so basically, what it sounds like is people here kind of want like a Tekken Zaibatsu, but more Facebook. Th- yeah, and there are some sites that are trying to do that too. I, mean, I think um, I, I can't quote for what Z is doing over it. Tekken gamer, but I could see that turning into a that having like a forum that people used. Um, yeah. There's Par P A R that's on its way out uh, that Chow Win is putting up that he gave me some links to and I looked at it and I think it it looks really good. Um, more better resources and fucking Nick is off in bed's working on Tekken Chicken for your phone. I mean, it's not going to have forums and stuff to my knowledge, but it might. I, I think it'd be better than the crap that we have on Facebook. It's just not a good. It's not a good place for this kind of stuff. <laughs> my problem, yeah. my problem Go ahead. with Facebook is that uh, everybody, like everybody's kind of using their real name. So I mean, that's not a problem per se, but not me. Nobody knows, <laughs> like nobody knows each other, right? Or mm-hmm. for the most part, so it's like it's hard to tell who the better players are, I guess. Like for mm-hmm. newcomers, for newcomers, okay. like yeah. So you're taking, like, for just for example, like Scrub A, and Me. Scrub B, like Scrub A is asking, oh yeah, what's you know he asks a question regarding like a strategy, and Scrub B tells him like wrong information, like how do you know? Yeah. As a newcomer, so how do you stop like misinformation from spreading around? I think that's an issue. That really does come down to having having I, a, a format that you can actually control and having yeah. mods that actually pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I couldn't mod any of the Facebook groups. I've, <laughs> I've said I said the same thing a million times. I'd ban half the fucking community. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's why TZ being a lot less active is kind of a shame because it's a a more Scholarly place. I'm sure there's a lot of scholarly. Uh, there's, scholarly. There's a lot, there's a, I'm sure there's a lot of idiots on TZ too. Peer peer reviewed combos and shit. Yeah, but it seems like people get it together a little better on TZ. And you're right. You know, we see post counts. Sometimes it's easier for someone to recognize your gamer tag because that's what they oh, saw you as right. in tournament. Right, better compared right. to like right exactly. That's what like, I was kind of referring to. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and you get the moderator flag over it if you yeah. if you're one of those guys. Yeah. You get like a post count of like seventy eight million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and people. It, it's easy to tell who is like who's actually modding, who's been around, who knows their stuff. It's way easier on a form format than Facebook yeah, to do so. You can't put credentials and a signature on Facebook. You can put credentials <laughs> on a signature on TZ on a form. <laughs> yeah. So maybe TZ needs an overhaul. Because well, I, I think TZ I... is definitely super, super old. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like their form. That's an old format, man. But the thing I like about it is it's really quick to get anywhere that you need to get versus like other forms these days, which are like kind of heavy on graphics. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like yeah. you kind of have to be digging if you need to find something. Yeah, I think I think something for for forms to work out in the future, if we're going to ever get anything that makes sense for people to find information on Tekken, is a good search feature because it sucks ass on TZ. Yeah, <laughs> it is it's terrible. I will say though that um, one one thing that has kept things pretty easy and like people actually discuss a lot on. Uh, is the Discord actually the Tekken Discord that I think Wonky runs? You know, um, and you can go on there and just and there is a search function on there. So if you need to search anything, there's individual channels for every single character. So if you want to just go in for that specific character, you go in there, you talk, you talk to those guys. You can ask questions, you can answer questions. So I mean, you know what I don't I go in there for that. You know what I don't like about that, like. <laughs> Discord or Facebook is that there's no real archive. So oh, yeah, say yeah. if you want to post like, hey, these are the changes from Tekken Tag 2 to Tekken 7 mm-hmm. for like everybody to see. You, you know, you well, can't... I mean, you can actually do that. That that's It's possible to do that. I just don't know if Wonky's doing that or not. Yeah, it's, it's the archiving aspect, I think, mm-hmm. that's uh, really important for people like you know, and you know, especially people with experience with those characters. Yeah, I'm. Tr- I'm trying to find a link to uh, the site that uh, somebody's putting up. I'll I'll post it if I can find it. It's it's actually looking pretty good. Like it's very visual, and people who actually know what they're doing can edit it. Um, it's yeah, it's almost like a like a working document kind of thing. Mm. Try to find it. I'll post it up if I can find the link to it. Going back to what we were asking about how uh, Reflex's question about how T7, if it will thrive or not, I think a lot of it is on the developer and the community in a way, But and I'll go into both. So on the developer side, I'm sure the game's going to be great, and uh, I'm really optimistic about it because, you know, we've been waiting forever, and I really hope they don't screw it up, but also as in terms of supporting the competitive team, it's really pushing that casual aspect, which I really like. Like yeah. we, get, we have all these new costumes, we have all like the story modes coming out, and I'm sure a lot of people are just like I know a lot of, I've met a lot of people at tournaments who aren't necessarily the most competitive players, but they're just like I can't wait for T7 story mode, and I'm like, yeah, okay, sure, you know. So in that sense, if the story mode is great too, and the game gets rave reviews, I'm really hoping that. T7 sells extremely well. But you know, it, it's not the uh, it's not the tournament players that you know Namco is trying to sell the game to. Of course. Because tournament players will buy the game. You know? Yes, yes. They're just trying to they're trying to get uh, more people, the more casual crowd. So yeah. story mode is a big. Uh, you know, like Street Fighter Five didn't have a fucking story mode for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's yeah. what I mean. What that's a fucking what I mean. mistake. Because, it, because I, I'm really perceiving that they're pushing in this direction to just get, like, everyone, like, all the casuals are going to love T7. I've been on other stream chats, and I'll, like, I'll, like, glance, like, oh, I play in T7 tournaments, and then, like, people just come at me. That game looks sexy. Oh, there's my wife. Oh. I love costumes. I love playing dress-up. And I'm like, uh, fight a I game. Remember- I remember I posted a picture of the fucking arcade cabinet when the test schedule, like when we had the test cabinets, and I posted it on Facebook, and like a bunch of like my random like friends that I didn't know outside of Tekken, they were just like, "Dude, that game's out now!" Like, hell yeah! So I mean, it's it's kind of crazy, like because I think the 
I think the game can strive. I think the scene can do really well. I give give this game like I think Namco is not afraid to spend a little bit of money on the scene. I don't I don't think they're afraid to um, try to help out the community in any way. Um, I think they'll be able to provide a lot more tournaments. I don't think we'll be seeing like invitationals anytime soon, but um, I think we'll definitely be seeing uh, a lot more tournaments, which will definitely help out the scene. And more tournaments means more like esports team coming in and like you know picking players and like asking to sponsor them just to represent their brand in in that game, which indefinitely will help the scene uh, like grow. Yeah, that's my uh, that's what I like. I've been like daydreaming about, and it's almost like my dream. I really hope T Seven does all that and is really successful, so that we get a huge influx of casual players who might become tournament players, and we'll have a much larger pool to draw from. And uh, TLDR, go esports, baby! Let's go <laughs> esports. Let's get big. Hey, get I rich. mean, I mean, it could happen. Like, like shit. Tag two nabbed me somehow. So I mean, and we're all the better for it. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Um, but and I think Tekken Seven will be able to grab a lot more people. Like I got in during Tag Two, like a a difficult game. Like that game's hard. Yeah. So I mean, it's crazy that you can get someone in that. And in a simpler game, it'd be way easier to get these other casual players in. And Hopefully they'll become tournament players and they'll be showing up to they'll be driving 14 hours down to strong style just to get fucking destroyed in the round robin pool. <laughs> yeah, that would be great for the scene to if we can grow and collectively have such a great game that we can go esports based on the merit of the game. I mean, of course, it's important for people to show up and do our thing, but it has to happen naturally. People want to play the game and want to come out. That's because the game is awesome. Yeah, and I mean, if Tekken 7 releases, everything goes smooth, it, it should pretty much happen naturally. This is how most like uh, games grow and become quote-unquote esports. They they just kind of play. They just they so keep I- on doing and improving, like keep on coming out with tournaments, come out with new content. Like the sponsors and like esports team will come and we'll be seeing all of us on the main stage with big big letters in front of them. And naked women everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you damn right, buddy. I mean, Peru's getting there. Have you seen like pictures? Or they just have like half naked models walking around yeah. and everything. <laughs> oh, I yeah. saw a little bit of that. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot which tournament this was, but there was like a like eighteen over uh, Tekken tournament, and it had like uh, strippers. I heard thinking a story about that. Oh, that was sluts. Oh, that sluts! Was the yeah, <laughs> St. Louis Underground Tournament of Shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, so and uh, I could tell some stories for that, but you know, uh, no, not right now. That that's for another time. <laughs> that's for yes. another time. <laughs> that's for another time. But yeah, so the site that I was thinking of is. Uh, par.gg, par.gg. Um, I think you have to sign up for an account to make it to actually get anything, but um, I haven't used Skype in a long time when it comes. I haven't shared screens in a while, so I don't want to screw anything up here. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll try to take some screenshots and post it up. It's looking really good. Um, the Tekken part of it's not really launched right now, but with Street Fighter. I mean, they they, oh, they based it around SF five to begin with. What? Nothing. It's fucking the dog being dumb. Oh, what do you do? Oh, I see his hand in his crotch, but what is he doing now? That's not my that's my leg. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but anyways, it's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, you can uh, you can add combos to it, and it's really visual. It's looking really good. I recommend it. I hope it. I hope it takes off, and you can actually make notes on your account, That'd and they're nice. working. Yeah, and they're making a. Um, they're making an, uh, I don't know if it's an app or just an online version of your account where you can actually save your notes for different combos and different players, different strategies, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's looking pretty that. good. It's looking pretty damn that. good. I don't it's have to looking... write things down on a fucking notebook anymore. <clears throat> Real quick, right. um, one site that I really, uh, really like, I know it's not, not you know, too popular, but 8-Way Run for Soul Calibur, I think is a great site. 
So it's kind of like uh, it's basically like TZ, but it has uh, like kind of like a built-in chat, and they have also a section for uh, like who's streaming live at the moment. So mm-hmm. and there's like uh, like a video archive link. So if anyone, I'll be right back. if anyone uh, wants to check that out, I think uh, eight way run eight way run for Soul Calibur is super mm-hmm. good. It's cool as a website. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, with these resources, it'll make it a lot easier for players to be able to come into the scene and learn stuff. Like for me, when I first got in, like I don't know, like I didn't even know about TZ or anything like that. So like I spent a really long time like trying to learn shit. So something like that would help a lot. A lot of new players. Well, I mean, people talk about TZ, um, you know, being being in the past, but. And it's still up and running. Hey, um, I I go on TZ more, way more than I used to. Like I I go on I go on TZ just to like look up shit or like learn frames or like learn matchups better because people are always talking about that kind of stuff on there. So <laughs> March two thousand is that when you signed up? Yep. Damn. Tight. I, I believe it opened in January of two thousand because uh, one of my old friends Triple A. Uh, has a fucking super old, um, super old uh, registration date. Yeah, I think mine would have been late. It had to have been late two thousand four when my sign up. Yeah, twenty twelve. <laughs> <laughs> you, it was long dead by then. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Well, I know there's not a whole lot of Lily, Lily players, but I still keep that Lily, Lily section up to date. That's good. Oscar, like um, Adam does that, I think. Uh, Adam? Let's see. Yeah, I think Adam so. Zero? Yeah, I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me check him. I can't remember who's updating the Oscar stuff on there. I've been on there in a couple weeks. Hmm. I I wouldn't be in the scene at all if I didn't know about TZ. Oh yeah, like nothing, nothing. I mean, somebody I used was a arcade player that played like Soul Calibur in high school. That when we had arcades and shit, and then uh, somebody told me to get on TZ when I moved to Nashville. I, I wouldn't have met, known anybody, met anybody if it wasn't for TZ. I and mean, that was a thing before Facebook was a thing. Hey Asa, were you playing yeah. uh, Tekken in Tekken Six? No. So tag no, is the first Tekken. I played T4, but oh, I, oh. nothing, nothing like super. Like I'd go to the arcades every once in a while and uh, play there. Yeah, he said your first Tekken, not your first abortion. Ah, I see. <laughs> first, first Tekken competitive Tekken that I looked in serious tag team. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, how do you feel about um, Asuka in T7? Because I know she has a quite. A, she has quite a lot of buffs. She's good. I think she's way better. Best iteration of her yet, I think. But, you know, there's still, like, a, that is also the case for a lot of characters in this game. Not, so, not, not all characters, but, yeah. Not all characters, <laughs> but a lot of characters. We can't all be 6.0 level. Yeah. Must be nice. Like, uh, Hell, if Kaz were 6.0 level, that'd be fucking awesome, too. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you know what was funny? Uh, I was just kind of a super, super random thought is um, what's funny is that Rodolfo and Cody are both regulars on my show and they were their characters, their main characters are also my mains at one point. Well. Mm. Damn. Thanks for calling us, uh, you know, copycats. So if you you change one of us, uh, I think Asa has to pick up Lily now. (laughs) <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, Ace I is, am not going to play Lily. Ace is just a guess. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't use Lily either, but she, she's, she's fucking trash. Well, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, and it's Fergus who updates the Oscar page. Oh, pretty okay. much. Oh, yeah. oh, that makes That's more right. sense. Yeah. yeah. Fergus yeah, is Fergus super good, the. Right? Yo, he's the hope for EU. Fergus is really good. <laughs> Fergus is mad good. Wait. He's so good despite playing. Crappy Asuka, I don't know how he does it. I mean, in fact, like most of the characters he mains are like low tier. Wait, when you say when you say EU, what about like 
that one dude double or Kane entrenches Yoshi or oh, the, where like Harry what I mean Potter. by that like I think yeah. they're a little older than him or but Bo you know as Bo for like young players he's the you know oh, okay. the hope so, for EU oh, so he's, he's the hope for he's EU because he's so talented he's quite humble actually and he's also he plays like all these low tier characters and you're like I don't know how he does it so props to uh, Fergus props to Fergus for playing low tier and making it work Somehow. Have you seen him play seven? Seven? Uh, no, I haven't seen him play seven yet. But uh, I, I can just tell by the way he plays, still... he'll transition really well. I hope he'll still be good. It's a very different game, though. Yeah, it is. That's yeah. why. That's why I was asking Asa about Asuka, because since he didn't really play a solo Tekken, I was just uh, wondering about his transition to solo from tag. Mm -hmm. So I wonder how, like Asa, I wonder how you feel about like transitioning for, since you're new, <sighs> since Tekken it, it's weird dude it really is weird like you have to play a lot more safe but then again you also need to keep up the pressure I mean it's so it's so give and go give and take you don't have another life bar to save you so uh, less forgiving it's a very, but it's still an yeah. offensive game yeah it's still an offensive game but you also uh, you, you take a lot, you have to take into account the risks you take a lot more than you would in Tag 2, I guess. Mm. So, it, it, for me, I mean, I feel like I've been playing a lot better in uh, Solo than I have in Tag, because I, I'm, oh man, I don't want to die half the time, so. Do you, uh, like, do you like Solo, or do you like Tag? Yeah, I, I, okay, I like Solo in a Solo game. I do not like Solo in Tag 2. No, the, the characters the characters and the stages aren't optimized for solo at all in Tech Two. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Like I'm supposed to, like tomorrow uh, there's casuals, and I'm probably not gonna go because all they're gonna want to do is play Tag Two solo, and I I don't want to play that. We're uh, when Booty Thrill and I play, we're still playing mostly uh, Tag Two, Tag Two. That, that's what I, I ask when I go. I, I ask, I can we please still, play Tag, please? I think it's still the best. <laughs> prep that we can do i mean yeah you can yeah you can focus on certain things with solo like watching your life bar better but i mean you you still take tag two sized combos yeah that that are not going to be in there for for uh solo and Asta's a, combos are all fucking different so what's the point of playing solo uh that's true uh it's more about watching your life bar and playing yeah. the the meta properly uh, i can agree Mm -hmm, when you're playing yeah. solo tag two, but God, it's fucking boring. I don't I, like. I just fuck around on my phone when I go. If they're oh. playing tag two solo, I'm just like, nah. Do you guys? Like you may as well not go. Go ahead. <sighs> so I'm saying. Do you guys feel that tag two would have been a better game if you couldn't do uh, wall bound, bound at the wall, kind of like T seven? I think it's fine for a tag game. Yeah. I think bound in general is fine for a tag game. I thought it was kind of dull in six, like it slowed the combos down really far. Um, mm, yeah. So, but for tag two, I mean, it it's it's like it it's. What do you mean in six? In six bound, like I think at the wall. I mean, bounding in general, it's like the combos were already still pretty long. Yeah. And well, no, I'm just I'm just specifically talking about bounding at the wall, like wall splat and then bound combo. And then doing tag assault for like a right. Bit. Oh, that's what I was. That's what I was sort of was about to get at. And that oh, okay. that my when we first saw screw the like screw attack and our corkscrew or tailspin, whatever the hell America wants to call it, um, I liked it. I liked the the change. I thought it was what the bound change actually needed because I mean wall combos, getting somebody to the wall is its own reward. And because you yeah. are you're already limiting their movement, you're limiting what they can do after you're there to begin mm -hmm. with. And then, so getting them, like, okay, binding somebody and then taking them to the wall and then doing a full wall combo and then having wall pressure after it is kind of nuts. Like, you've already taken 60%, and then you've got full wall pressure on top of that. So you take somebody to the wall, you bound them there, you do a big-ass combo from no matter where you are, and then you mix them up one time and they're dead. I mean... Like, it's 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 a little bit different in, in 7. That still happens here and there, especially with, like, like Paul. Sometimes, but but or or Leo, but it's it's not nearly as bad as it was in six and tag uh, two. So, do you feel like tag two? Do you, you feel like it would be better if it didn't have that? 
or not with the fact that tag crashes in there because you have such easy access to your second life bar. Yeah. I mean, there are ways okay. to bait it out, but I mean, that's still part of the, the mind game that you, cause you could still raw tag. You could stand up in the raw tag. You stand up and hit them in the raw tag. You stand up and knock them down the raw tag, or you could just straight tag crash. You could delay tag crash. Like yeah. I, I think bounding at the wall was fine in that game because you had easy access to getting the fuck out. Yeah. Um, personally, I feel like tailspin or screw tag, screw tags. That's what bounce should have been in the first place. Cause, Agreed. Uh, one thing I do feel like in fighting games in general, the the game pace is slower. Not necessarily slower, but in a way, like especially combos. Like the combos are longer, but you, you know it takes a lot a lot longer to do the same damage combo sometimes than compared to an old game where like you know T three you know get, you're going back to the really old games and like people, like rounds are over in like fifteen seconds. It's like that. And uh, I feel like games nowadays are more uh, lower damage in a sense. I mean, of course, there's still hella damage, and uh, it's kind of hypocritical for me, the high damage character player. But I feel like overall, I, I want the game pace to be faster. And uh, screw tech is a little better than bound. Because bound, you just the combos go on forever. Oh god. Mm, screw tech. I feel like. Um, yeah, I, I feel like. That's what balance should have been. But it's also, I mean, I guess you could think of it as like a, a wall carry since they fly back so far. So yeah, for characters yeah. who have a shittier wall carry, um, I mean, that's, that's good for them. Like mm -hmm. fame. Yeah. Hey, what's uh, up? Leading... Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, leading back to what I was saying last podcast, uh, yeah, I really do think uh, more mini combos would be more visually interesting than kind of uh, cookie cutter optimal stuff basically that would be cooler in my eyes if they could somehow implement that well That's say that again start over what oh so like you know uh for example although brian does have a lot of combo variety usually you can just do a staple and it does hella but i feel Visually, as a person watching the game, I like to see a lot of mini combos. Like, like I touched on this last podcast, like with Miguel doing like four one plus two in the down one plus two, and there's just like huge ass like two hit big damage combos. I like that kind of more than cookie cutter launch filler, screw attack, wall carry. You that, would, to me, that's you, less visually appealing. You would like Soul Calibur a lot. Mm. There's a you lot just, of that. Launch yeah, to so, do mini combo. Uh, somewhat, yeah, kind of like yeah. Soul Calibur, just a little bit, yeah. Where you do hella, and it it doesn't make you feel like you're losing for a long period of time. You're like, uh oh, I, I I took a lot of damage. Now let's do let's react now instead you're back of into waiting reaction. five to seven seconds, and you're just you're just like you know taking it in in your head. You're like, God, I just got comboed on an idiot, and I have to wait here five <laughs> seconds now. Right, that's really right. Irritating. I mean, so that, that that's another reason that people, a lot of people, liked uh, T five DR quite a bit. I mean, we mm -hmm. said this last time. It's like you do a combo, you, you launch, you do a combo real quick, and you're done. Unless you're a character that has a really long wall carry into a wall combo, but that was, mm -hmm. you know, did not happen that often. Your your combo might last like a second and a half or two seconds most of the time, and you're done. You're not not have an eight or nine second goddamn combo, mm -hmm. which got super crazy in tag two. Oh my like, god. Bruce wall oh, carry, fucking dragon off wall carry, Leo yeah. wall carry. God, it's fucking obnoxious. Yep. And I played half those characters. <laughs> I bet, but I'm sitting there watching myself do it. I'm like, God, let the shit be over. But I have to do it or I'm not going to win. So. Yeah. That's yeah. why I played easy character. Or you could play, you go back to tag one and do win God Fist 4. Right, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Like, people are complaining, oh man, this combo's getting harder. Or, I mean, like, they're doing so much damage, and then they're just, like, devil. And they're, like, the, the super BM combo tag one was just twin piston standing four. Apparently, that was, like, the, the, the shiz back in the day. Yeah, like yeah, you'd have to do shit. Like, you could optimize it for, like, two or three more points of damage with, like, two or three win gods in that combo. Or, you know, why? or just, just do four. Four, <laughs> four and, then, and then get Oki. So, yeah, that's you know. awesome. So, that's would, so you like... guys, would you guys like Tekken 8 if uh, they just removed Bound or Screw Attack entirely? I don't know. I don't know. But what? 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 You have to. At this point, you have to introduce a new gimmick every game. 
So Bound was the Tekken 6 gimmick. Uh, Tag Crash, Tag Assault, all that shit was added into Tag 2 for its gimmick. Screw Attack, and which is just an, a different Bound is the gimmick for 7, as well as Rage Art and Rage Drive. Okay, so so oh. what, what gimmick would you put in 8 if you're going to take away the combos? Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying eliminate the combo, ex- combo extenders because that's what uh, you guys seem like. I got a Cody air dashing. It's a, it's coming. <laughs> 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 that's for Tekken Crash Fighter. <laughs> like real air wave dashing. Or, Here we go. Yeah. Well, you, so everybody should be like five point oh double gen. You should go look you, that shit up. You damn right. You know, the, what I would like to see is that kind of following Soul Calibur is that every character have at least one just frame. Move. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. I think that'd be cool. Uh, right? I like yeah, it. I guess. I mean, that might be cool, but I don't know how that's. This gonna this gonna make the system in general better. Yeah, right. Be to turn off casual players. No one wants to play just frame. Or is or is that even what you were going for? Are you just saying that this would be cool? I think it'd be well. I like doing just frames. So I mean be cool hey, hey, hey. to uh play characters with, you know I don't want to play Hard Paul. Shit. Yeah. I don't want to play Paul. I mean he has a just frame. There, I mean there's there's It's not even a just frame anymore. I know, that's not. But I there's mean, a window on it now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But uh, you know, characters with harder stuff like Lee's Acid Storm, etc. Or Acid Rain. It, yeah. dep- it all depends on the person. And, like, does that just frame make them make that character better you that's where your limit would have to come in because attracting like a fucking attracting like players to the game you add in those just frames they're gonna be like okay there's like a set amount of people that are gonna look at that and be like oh hell yeah i want to do i want to try to do this all the time and then you have the other people like this is too damn hard i'm gonna go play street fighter see you like alpha Alpha Pat and Soul Calibur Five, yeah, like yeah. you had to be oh, able to okay. do the shit, or he was useless. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm not saying it has to be like game changing for that character, but if they yeah, had yeah. something like, um, you know, Sophie had just frame stab, which you didn't really need it per se. So, I mean, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, in that sense, if it's just like. An additional, I'm not saying, like minor skill modifier. That, that's cool to me. Yeah, just like you know, tack on some more damage. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be like fun, more fun if uh, every character had something like that. Would that make it interesting for you, Asa, if your character had to have a just frame back three? I'd be okay with it. I'd be <laughs> okay just, with it. Just frame back yeah. three. To be honest, I, I'd be okay with it. Like, okay, so check this out. Here's a here's a great example. Using your back three. So mm-hmm. if Asuka had like a back three, four, mm-hmm. or actually, no, it's back. She does have a back three, four. Yeah, that's what's back <laughs> She already so, got that. So like a back three, three. Like a trill. Or like back three, three plus four. Okay, back three, three plus four, where she mm-hmm. does back three into like her forward four, you know, that. Uh, yeah. The high kick. Which yeah. does like screw attack. Mm-hmm. I mean. But it does I, I, extra damage. If it does extra damage, I'd practice it. Right. So then I'm doing back three, four, <laughs> back three, four, three. <laughs> right. But it would be cool, right, to have. Yeah, it'd be really cool to have. But I mean, you know, I don't. So fuck them. I mean, keep with the easy shit. I, I'm just saying stuff that they could add to the game that would. Be oh yeah, if they, if they could add, if if they would add that to the game, that'd be cool. Like fuck, uh, what? Lucky Chloe's rage art has that just frame input. Exactly. To do a little bit more damage. That's fucking cool. By the way, she has the strongest rage rage art in the game. I think. Does she? No, does it beat Miguel's? Miguel's? Does it beat Miguel's? That's the that's the real question. Oh. Miguel's when he has zero life is over fifty percent. It's like, oh, it's yeah. like 55 or some shit. It's fucking yeah, It's fucking nuts. Well, first of all, first of all, Miguel's just and it might get and it might get changed by the yeah, way. Yeah, that's so. that's not it. Yeah, but Chloe's I think does the most in the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And well, it's BM as shit. It's cool as fuck to hit that. So. Oh yeah, yeah. That's another thing they could probably do. Why? Because she spells out her name. Hell yeah, that's BM BM as hell. And plus. Like I want to learn, I want to learn Chloe. I told Cody about this. I want to learn Chloe, just for tournament. I don't think I was listening. 
Oh, thank <laughs> you, I don't know. It was like a month ago, man. You don't remember. Was it final round? It was probably yeah. a final round. Okay. You're getting you're getting old, man. You, no, you don't, no, you don't, yeah, you don't I'm, remember I'm pretty everything. fucking old. I'm pretty fucking old, dude. <laughs> um, I'm gonna learn Chloe just for tournament, just because if somebody doesn't like the game, immediately. Oh yeah, you told me this stupid ass reason. Go ahead. But it's genius. Okay, so this is the exact reason I picked up Lily actually a long time ago. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> To beat them with uh, you, BM, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you pick Chloe immediately, oh, or perceived if, BM. Excuse me. Yeah. If immediately, they're in their head is oh this fucker, this this Tekken Seven loving idiot, this weeaboo looking motherfucker picked Lucky Chloe on yeah, my ass, that's right? Why, that's why I picked Lily in T five DR. And I hit him with that counter hit, stupid seventy percent combo. Immediately in his head, broken. That is, I've won the game mentally at least <laughs> at that point. And I've like I hit that rage art. I hit the just frame. Oh yeah! Like oh shit, dude! I've won. <laughs> I've won. It's 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 perfect for somebody. If I'm going against somebody that doesn't like the game, and for some reason he's in the goddamn, he's in the tournament. Have you Sweet. seen uh, Chloe do? You know you know her. I forgot what the actual name is called. The, the weird step, the down back mm-hmm. four three. Where she yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Oh, you mean her, do that all her, fucking game? Her six step, rock? the top yeah. rock, not a six step, top rock, yeah. Top rock, I yeah. do that shit all, all game. You know she counts mm. to, I think it was six, and then she, yeah, and then she yells, "Ooh yeah!" Because that's a that's a yeah. that's a break thing. Six mm-hmm. step. Interesting. I was uh, actually speaking of that. Maybe that's one way. No, King now that you brought it up, that's a really good way to make the game more interactive. Like, it's not necessary to, count? to win, but like. If you could kind of like Paul four two one in a way, in, in like a slight way, you know, you can do like attack modifiers, but it's not like you had to do it, right? Something like that. And then I want just frame hell sweeps back. <laughs> just frame hell sweeps. Mm-hmm. Wait, what was that thing? Yeah. yeah, you know, I would be okay with just frame hell sweeps, especially since Heihachi's the second hit is uh, punishable. Ooh. Or even Kazuya's. Uh, give him his Just Rim Hell Sweeps back. That'd be tight. Mm. That one was a little. That was. I mean, it existed, but it was a little weird because you had to hit it at like max range, basically. Oh. There's that, and then well, he also had uh, Hell Sweep one that did extra damage if you just framed it. Oh, really? It didn't have to be. Yeah, it could be at any range. You just hit the one at the right time, and they took it away in tag two. Mm. Uh... That would be cool, actually. Yeah, because he was low tier in tag two, so you know they they took it away, right? Hey, Cody, do you remember in five point oh Kazuya when he did while saying two, and then you did down four two? Yeah, it would it would restun. <laughs> that was that was really that's, dumb. That's yeah, that's that's you know if they didn't shake it, it was a breakable stun. Yeah, yeah so you do while standing two, and they'd hold they'd hold their stomach. It was a breakable stun, but then you could down four two. It, or whatever you did from that. From that stun was a counter hit, so you could then do down four two and they do the fall over. Well, they're already doing the six stun, and then you down four two and they do the fall over stun. You could do an electric off of that, or you could do it even easier. You wall standing two, run up one two, and they do this fucking falling back standing up, and then you could still electric <laughs> off of that. No, oh, really? Which was no- yeah, yeah. You still got an electric off of that. Oh, actually, Just, wall standing two, run up one two, and they would get this stun like they're falling back. Ugh. And then you still electric off of it and do your regular combo. It was fucking insane, but you could shake it. Yeah, he, he, yeah, I remember he had that in Tekken Four actually as well. Uh, I don't remember. Right. I don't, could you shake that one? The wall standing two? No, no. It was, uh, and you actually do repeated wall standing twos. They couldn't shake it. It was a uh, sort of a just frame timing. If from the from the proper angle, wall standing two, instant duck, wall standing two. I mean, you could do it like three times. Mm. I don't think it was cons- uh, an infinite, but you could do wall standing two, wall standing two, wall standing two, thunder god three, and it was like Ugh. 80 percent. It was nuts. Damn. Yeah, it was a big combo. I mean, maybe not eighty percent, but I don't. Know, it was it was a lot. Well, because he wasn't good, so he needed something. He was pretty crap. Well, non-launching electric that was beautiful. <laughs> or even even an electric follow up after a non-launching electric was super super hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could do electric into like hell sweep, just single hell sweep, <laughs> <laughs> or down forward four, and you're like, that's like you know, fifteen twenty percent at most. That was that was quite great. 
But again, we're at, we'll leave that abortion out of this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all of it's like three or four playable characters. <laughs> Pretty much. Balanced Ooh. game. Right. Tekken 4. Well, luckily, uh, we have patches now. So. Yeah. Mm, yes. Cough 5.0 cough. Mm. I wish they would have patched that one. There was oh. 5.1? What are you talking about? Well, I mean for console. Yeah. Oh, oh ooh, yeah, dude. Did you ever play 5.1? I With the green life bars? I've oh, played it a ugly. couple times. I think uh, they nerfed all the Steve shit, but they left the double gin shit in there. Mm. Oh, he's still a bad I think, one. Yeah, they nerfed, they nerfed Steve, and he was still the best character in the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Speaking of Oops. Steve, how many how many revisions did they have? Was it two? Or just, was it like three? Or was it two? You mean like official releases? Like, like there was like 5.1, 5.2. I think there wasn't was a 5.2. 5. 5. There was 5.0. Oh, okay. mm. Like official with numbers or name changes. 5, yeah. 5.1, which barely saw the light of day before DR came out. Yeah, yeah. I, I played on the... When I was a little kid, I remember seeing Tekken 5 point something. And I was like, what? why is there a point? What does this mean? But I was like six, so... I see. Uh, speaking of patches, what do you guys? I don't know if you guys touched on this. Uh, the patches in Tekken Seven, how frequent frequent do you guys want? Do you guys want balance changes or what? No, I don't want it to be like like I don't uh, either. Like like yeah. Capcom level shit. Like yeah, you know, I don't want it to be like League of Legends. <laughs> oh, that is no. horrible. That'd be fucking terrible. There'd be no point in playing any character. You just play whatever is the best at that mm. time. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, I think, I mean, they haven't done a balance patch in a long time for uh, T7. They are kind of, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. They're, they're probably not going to do one before console, I'm sure. But Oh, I mean, that's my prayer. That would be, that's my uh, prayer right there. They don't touch, they don't touch the game anymore. So I can enjoy, you know, Brian Dream forever. I think what's <laughs> happening after the release, I think the arcade versions are getting updated with like Lee and Eddie and all that shit, right? Yeah. To the console version. And then everyone will be on a uh, on the same basis. So I don't know how they'll deal with that kind of shit as well. Because if they have to if they change something on there, they don't per se have to change it on their, on the arcade version because you know, God for <laughs> sake. They they don't they don't do that shit anyways now with Tag Two. So I think I think they need a balance change. That that the Raven wall combo needs to go. There's a lot I'm of sure room. that I think I think there will probably like be like it won't be day one like uh, Tekken Seven release console. I think they'll do it beforehand and then like yeah. release the notes before the console comes out, or we'll just get console and we have to learn like what's changed about each character from the console version. I guess. Uh, yeah, I see. Yeah, they might need that. Well. Z? Z thinks there's going to be another uh, character announcement, and I kind of mm -hmm. don't think so since my like, Evo's coming up. Y'all want more characters? No. I, I really don't. I, I'm not that I'm trying to keep anybody's character out, but I mean, the idea was from the get go to try to keep the roster, the roster down a little bit and now it's kind of huge again it's kind of big we're getting right. running out of space dude we're still going to start covering up their faces on the character selection oh, maybe if they didn't give kuma and panda their own individual slots yeah. I don't get it that was a bad move yeah that's bm <laughs> that's bms shit yeah that was yeah. I agree. That, that was a bowel move yeah. But yeah, I, I, I think I think they're they've kept up with crowd servers pretty well on this game. Um, they yep. won, and we we talked about this last time. But I, I if I think they're 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 paying a lot of attention to you know what they you know, the, the character usage in the arcades last time. And if people keep asking for lay, we talked about this last time. They keep asking for lay, but what was the character usage actually like in arcade? Random. Isn't he like one of the lowest in arcades? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Consistently. Um, and who played Lay in general? So. Yeah. 
I, I don't know why. Like I don't know why I keep hearing people ask for him when like nobody plays him really. Yeah. Yeah, like, they just want to see him in. They want Jackie Chan, but no one played Jackie Chan. That's the reality. Yeah, but I mean, we're we're probably out of touch with the the you know the home crowd that really just buys it to to play it at home. Mm, uh, so I don't I don't know, but then again, I mean, who who goes into arcades now? I mean, if you if you're going off of arcade play, who goes into arcades now and puts money into play and just mashes shit out of the everyone sticks? around here that goes to the arcades, they either play King or Claudio. So, mm. uh, yeah, who, yeah, and who and would they default to Lay if if he were in there? Probably not. Probably not. So, Lay's pretty complex and. uh He's cool when you know how to play him, but it's like, you know, no one plays him, and it's not really beginner friendly either. Yeah, he's definitely not beginner friendly. I think uh, he needs a major overhaul if they were to bring him back. Mm-hmm. I think so too. Yeah. Speaking of the devil, uh, Claudio is like new player heaven. Because uh, back at, when I was at Anime Expo with Kane and Weapon X, uh, there was this guy, and like, he was kind of newish to the scene. I just saw him playing, and he just picked up Claudio day one. And he was having a, he was like having so much fun and doing really well for some reason. And I was like, dude, was like, was that? Claudio? Uh, I forgot his name. He was like some Asian, Asian kid from UCI. Was he even a Tekken uh, player? Uh, he, he was a rough, I, I'll just say he was a casual, but he kind of, he knew like TZ notations. Oh, I see. A little. So he's kind of like, you know. A month in type player. Mm. So he's and, a mid level American instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. But what, what I found really interesting was that when he was playing with Claudio, he was like so in love with the game. He was like, he was so hyped. Like he would do wall running too, like he was an electric or something. And I was like, dude, this dude's having so much fun. So I hope everyone can have that kind of experience in Second Seven. Even when you're, even when you're losing, it's just like, Find that character, and you're done. Yeah, that was like uh, when Booty Throw came over to my house the first time, playing Lee, and was doing like back two combos and shit. I was like, okay, this guy needs to learn how to actually play, and then he did, and now he's actually pretty damn good. But oh, yeah, true. like out, out of all the people that were coming over, I was like, oh, okay, this guy has to fucking play, or I'm gonna lose my mind. So, <laughs> and everybody else pretty much dropped out, and he stuck with it. Ah. Uh. And he's never gonna forget the 115 to zero night, and then after that, <laughs> after that. After that, he like got on his shit like hard, like in just was playing five, six hours, four or five times a week with me. Like it was super on. Yeah, it was, was kind of like the first uh, set I had with Monstro. So one to fifty-seven. Oh, that did not feel good. <laughs> you go home immediately. What the fuck? Why? How? <laughs> and you you buckle down and start learning a lot more. Yep. That's how yep. people get their start, though. I got Nothing it. like getting your ass fucking handed to you before uh, getting a... Uh, yeah, but there are people that'll grabbing. that'll completely quit after that. Yeah. It's a gamble, but... Right. But, I mean, do you really want the those kind of players to be your, your norms anyway if they're just going to be that kind of wuss? That's what I'm saying. Mm. But then, then, you, then you play the gamble on, huh... Do we really? Can we really afford to lose anybody right now? <laughs> mm, yeah, I, no. I don't know. I, I mean, the thing is, though, those people, those people that would quit after losing like a hundred games in a row, those people that would quit after losing that wouldn't probably be around for that long, anyways. If they're not willing to look at that problem, maybe. they'd be around maybe for not. maybe two more months. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they would feed pots at tournaments. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I already, we need, we I already need. fucking do that. Me too. You don't feed everybody. Come on. No, Me no. too. I don't lose to everybody. I at hey, least hey. go two, two sometimes. Hey, Asa, I heard you're going to Japan in August. Uh, that's a that's a toss-up, buddy. Hmm. I'd love to. Hmm. I told you May. I will let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually go. Ooh. In August? Uh, it, yeah, end of August, early set because I um well, there's a lot of stuff that would have to line up for it to happen, but uh, you know. yeah, see, this is a uh, well. But the game will finally be out, and it will mm-hmm. be fun to actually go play it somewhere. Oh, I agree. 
So instead of learning, I mean, you can learn the game and then go learn like the game. Like you, you can learn the 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 like the the definitions and everything within the game, and then you actually go get to apply it when you go somewhere. I feel like now if I went, I'd still be learning the the, the changes and everything, and it's just. It wouldn't. It would be counterproductive to spend two or three days just getting my ass super handed to me. Uh, somewhat. I mean, I guess. I guess. But, I mean, uh, for cost benefit, like comparison. But see, the thing is, would you would you get more out of that, or would you get more? Oh, out, absolutely. Out you're of- talking about. Yeah, if you're going to say versus a tournament, yes, absolutely. Because <laughs> oh, we said yeah. the same shit last time. We said the oh, same shit last time. Mm-hmm. And if, if I weren't, like I'm saying, if I weren't like sponsored, I wouldn't be going to all the ones I'm going to for stuff. Not oh, even sponsored nice. and I'm going, dude. And it's yeah, so but stupid. I don't, but are you going? <laughs> I'm going to Combo Breaker CEO and Evo, more than likely. Nice. Uh, combo, well, uh, Combo Breaker's in the air. Uh, CEO is definitely like... A probably and Evo <laughs> is who it's knows. Def- it's definitely a probably. Definitely right. a probably. So it's yeah. got like a forty mm, like, percent chance. That's, definitely a probably is like sixty five percent. It's like all my friends getting together. Oh. Same shit we did for final round, essentially. And Evo, I'm definitely going. Yeah, I'm. Um, if I can get the Rito hookup, I might go to <laughs> Evo, depending on. Uh, if I can afford it or not, and I, I, I'm go, I'm not going to compete. My uh, competitiveness will be elsewhere for uh, training purposes, but mm-hmm. I'm unsure if I'll be going to Evo either. It, it all depends. But uh, yeah, if I, any of you guys are coming out to Evo, I'll definitely be willing to play games with you before I go to the hyperbolic time chamber. That's literally all I want to do during Evo. It's just like. Yeah. Play games I while I'm there. That's I all I want to do. Because yeah, I mean, people say like, yeah, you go to these tournaments, so yeah, just Tekken is just a, an excuse to go to all these places. Fuck like, that. well, fuck, make that excuse whenever you want to. Like, go to on yeah. vacation somewhere and and tell people let's meet up and go watch big booty bitches in Atlanta without having to. That's what I did for final round. I went to final round with like a group of like eight of us. And after, like, I was done with the tournaments, we would just go out and just fucking actually go have fun and vacation. Yeah, but you could do that whenever. You don't have to have those people. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to have those people. And in Evo, like, I just want to play games while I'm there. I'm there for games if I'm going to Vegas. So, that's what yes. we do. Yeah, that's how I am for just about any tournament. But then, like, you try to find somebody who wants to play, like, all freaking night. It's not that easy. Yeah. And then you sort of feel like you're alienating yourself because when that, that one person falls off, you're like, well, fuck, now what do I do? Yeah. So. Oh, that's true. Anyway, yes, uh, somebody, Limit, mentioned that uh, King Ray wanted us to plug the Salty Sweet thing we're trying to do at CEO, by the way. So if you're coming oh. to CEO, there's uh, trying to do something very similar to the to the uh, Tech and Casino things that were done. He's rented out a suite and I think an adjoining room. So... It's actually like a double wide, Ooh. kind of similar again to other tech and casinos we're doing. Um, he's doing a GoFundMe for it, which basically just, I don't, I'm not going to say the efficacy of doing a GoFundMe for a salty suite, but um, if you do go donate money to it there, it basically uh, just buys your way into it anyways. Uh, you don't have to buy a ticket at the door because it's going to be like five bucks a person, I think, mm. which uh, one, because you have to pay for the fucking room. Because mm-hmm. um, it's coming out of his pocket until it gets reimbursed. So, yeah. I thought he already hit his goal. No. Did he? I think it was. Wasn't he like putting a pretty big number? Was it like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars? I thought he hit his. Goal. I could be wrong. I haven't seen it. Mm, I see. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen it in a couple of weeks. I looked at it a couple oh, of weeks I ago. I haven't looked at it in a couple of weeks. So, okay. uh, CEO is after console release, right? Yes, it is the weekend. Oh, excuse me. It comes out on the second. The first weekend will be obviously not long after that because that is a Friday. So June second's a Friday. It, it's on the sixteenth through the eighteenth. That's when CEO Ooh. is. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's not the next weekend, but the one after. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Well. 
Uh, and Z many? is posting up the link to the GoFundMe. Thank you, sir. How many? Um, how many? Oh, no, he, he's he, he's well shy of his goal. He's at two hundred thirty-seven out of a thousand. Oh, rip. Yeah. Uh, how many setups is he planning on having? There? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's going to be crowdsourced. Oh, so. really? Hmm. Yeah. Well, Ooh. I think all the all. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to say all. I can't speak for everybody, but I imagine the majority of the Florida players will donate theirs to that. Um, okay. So it'll be mine, his, probably Charlie's. I'm assuming a couple other people in this chat. So I mean, you're 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 looking at eight or more, ten or more, yeah. um, and really that many in. Uh, and I've got freaking monitors to boot. Like I've got two here, and I've got two in the background. I mean, I think we'll, I think we'll be fine to to provide the setups, but uh, making use of the the space as as well as possible with those setups is the challenge. And you could say, oh, I'm going to have 20 damn setups. Well, I mean, you you put 20 setups plus you know 40, 50 people wanting in, and you don't you can't do it. So well, hopefully, uh, you know, are going to have the power strips for it. Power strips? I have an entire box of about 40 power strips. Oh, sure. okay. cool. Yeah. He's prepped. Cody's ready to go. I used to host sessions at my place uh, down the street. Oh, well, not down the street. About 20 minutes down the road where I would have... One night, I had about 30 people in my house. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because for whatever reason, like right, right before Tag 2 came out, everybody in my fucking town was playing Tekken 6. And if Booty Thrill is still in the chat, he can vouch for this shit. Like, all the 2D players, for whatever reason, like, they were like, I'm fucking sick of the Street Fighter 4, I'm sick of Marvel, like, these guys are playing Tekken 6, this is, this is actually pretty cool, and people were coming over, and I was, I was, I was having to learn every single character so I could teach it to them, and they were picking it up, not super well, but I mean, they were picking it up, and then in, like, this was like two or three weeks before Tag 2 came out, then as soon as Tag 2 dropped, he and I took two setups to the local place where everybody played, which was a comic book shop, and he and I were playing on one, and the other setup just stayed empty the entire rest of the night. Everybody was playing goddamn Persona. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. And then they never touched it. And they gave us no indication that they didn't want to play Tekken anymore. They just didn't fucking play it. So, you bunch of garbage-ass people. Mm, grr. Grr. But anyway, yeah, power strips, I kind of have that hooked up. So Okay. Yeah, it's really important for you guys to uh, have many setups because at the Tekken Casino events, I remember there being like six to eight. Well, the one I went to went uh, hosted by that Core, uh, Ogre, and a couple others. Can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. They had like six setups. I felt like we, I wish we had more, but it was really crowded for what it was. It wasn't really the biggest room, so that's fine. But like... I hope you guys really can get those setups going because I remember we had a Evo 2015 Tekken Tag Tournament 2 side tournament and we had like three setups. It was so bad. <laughs> and uh, like, was that I the one remember... that Incog and Pling were like the tops in? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, the, the, the top three for that uh, Tag Evo 2015 uh, side tourney. Winner was Al, Incog second, I believe, and Trey third. Mm. Feeling there, so I'm hoping. Yeah, just make sure you guys really are on top of the setup. The setups, more than anything, are really what's gonna you know get it going. <laughs> okay. You guys planning on having a stream? <laughs> you guys, stream. you guys get enough setups, and you guys will have a have an event in no time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are planning on setups. Everybody. They're important. You guys yeah, are forget about people stream. actually coming. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are. Um, I think uh, Ray or somebody else has access to a uh, a limitless 4G. So I think that's better than most hotel plugs. That's good. Um, that's actually. I don't know if the the resort comes with uh, or even provides wired internet. I know lots do, but I don't know if this one does. Um, or uh, if, if it can be better. If it's a so. suite, I would assume so. Right? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know at all. Uh, but then, are they going to... If you're using the internet, are they going to cap you after a certain upload? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Womp womp. It's worth, it's worth checking, but I think, yeah, Ray has a backup limitless 4G. 
oh, nice. uh, connection, which will at least get you, you know, poverty level stream looking fine. Yeah, yeah. nice 2K bit rate. You'll be living it. Yep. Hmm. It'll be better than an Asa stream. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Yay! Dude, my stream used to be terrible. For whatever reason, my internet connection was fine, but I was working off a laptop that didn't have a dedicated video card. God, that thing Ooh. sucked. Oh, God, man. my stream was fucking terrible. My, oh. I just run at a low bit rate because I know... The, I was running the, at a fucking low bit rate. I, I know a lot of people that come in um, don't have the best computers to watch, so it can't be streaming at fucking 3K, and they'll, they'll be able to watch like it, it just wouldn't be the case. So. What's, a, what's a low bit rate for you? Me? Yeah. Low bit rate, like a low bit rate for me is like 1k. That's oh, okay. that's like that's like. Oh, dude, I was streaming at like 600. Oh god, dude! Dang. I like I had when I was when I first started streaming, I was streaming like fucking Kingdom Hearts and like speedrunning and shit. And uh, since that's off PS2, you don't need too much. But I would be watching people streaming on like 200 bit rate, and it's fucking atrocious. So I'd always stream at like 1k, and I'd still have people coming in there. I can't watch this. Like my laptop can't fucking watch the stream, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude, you need to, you need to relax, you need to upgrade at some point. Yeah, I was um, when I streamed online games like Tag Two, I would be at 900. But if I streamed like, like near or Final Fantasy or something, I would I would be at like 2K, just because I can't. Uh, yeah, because yeah. you don't have it up down going at the right. same time. Yeah. yeah. See, for me, if I'm streaming anything off of my PlayStation 4, I'll stream at 25. Okay. Um, my PS3, I stream on like 17, and like anything on my computer, I stream at like 2.5 to 3K. Depends. Hmm. Yeah, I turned down mine pretty low because i just don't want to pull in any lag yeah yeah that's, that's the whole idea for me too mm. or try and limit it as much as i can anyway let's see i'm trying to see what mine is right now yeah i don't know i can't find it i know rip streams at like 3k or 3.5k <laughs> does he that yeah. thing fucking that thing pixelates so bad does it for for running on fucking 3.5k or 3k that 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 stream's got to be running on 2k for how bad that uh for how know, bad it pixelates maybe he changed it but bef before like when I before was... he used to stream pretty high yeah it doesn't get bad for me like it is all this stuff huh. works fine for me level up your game let me see what if, if i've got him on source or not no it works out fine for me yeah, it looks. I mean, looks good on my end when I yeah. I used to watch them a lot. Mm, I'd have to check the and Let me see the video stats. What does he run on when he normally plays? Mm. He is running. Damn, oh, he's I'm he's actually running super high. The last time, last time he streamed, I don't know. Uh, like I I know a few streams ago it was super pixely so I just like didn't watch. When you say super uh, high, what do you mean super high? Like four K? Hey, he's at like three point five. Oh, That's yeah. pretty high, considering. Yep. Level up your video just... card, bro. <laughs> Level up your gay. <laughs> yeah, ten seventy. Leave me alone, dude. Oh damn! Mm -hmm. Must be nice. It's all right. Yeah. Derek, when I was at your place, you had like a 560 or some shit in your PC, didn't you? Yeah, it was super shitty. Well, a 560 tie? Yeah. But that I, was could, I could just tell from because you have the, the see-through um, see tower, and I was like, oh shit, 560 tie. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a while ago. Uh, that was when the 9 series had just come out, though. Yeah, like two years ago, maybe I bought like a 980, I think. But mm -hmm. I'm going to get... When T7 comes out, I'll probably get like a 1080 Ti. Yeah, because you're trying to run 4K, right? Uh, no, not. I want to at least be able to run on 1080, so I got a 1070. So yeah. uh, I've I still got a 970. That should that should pull 1080. No yeah, problem. Yeah, you sh you should be fine. I don't. Think, yeah. I don't think even a 1080 Ti will run 4K. At least not. You know, definitely not. Uh, uh, at the most, it'll probably run around rate? 50 frames per second. You're probably not going to get 60 frames. Yeah, you probably get around 50. 
Yeah. You'd have to. You'd I mean, have we'll, to probably we'll run see. Two. We'll see. I mean, if they make use of like hyperthreading on your CPU quite a bit, then that would yeah. be helpful. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll TBD. Try and run somewhere between 1080 and 4K. Their recommended specs were like a 1060. So, I mean, I think Damn. 4K on a 1080 tie might be like very possible with, and still feel smooth. Possibly. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I also want to know how that would run if you're running like two 980s. Two 980s beats a single 1080 right now, but uh, once they, you know, keep getting firmware updates and they keep doing these overclock ties, it's going to end up overcoming it. Yeah, yeah. And you're also sitting on a fucking furnace if you're SLIing two 980s right now. So, bleh. yeah. Anyways, I I looked up my stream. I'm just, I stream at two two K right now, and yeah. but I I really haven't been streaming much online lately. I haven't been streaming much at all. I've done two streams in like six months. Whoa, or, whoa. or three, maybe three. Just whenever we have somebody who from like from out of town, like when Off and Bed came into town, I streamed. I thought your uh, I thought your sponsor wanted you to stream like like twice a week or something like that. That that's not in the contract. I mean oh, they I um. They they encourage it, and they've actually I've actually started doing it more just because I realize that's part of it. But I mean, they haven't um, they haven't that's not in the contract. And and the console, I mean, we still don't even have the fucking console release yet for T seven, yeah. <laughs> and so and they, they realize that. I mean, that was even part of the part of the discussion when uh, when i signed on so I'll, I'll definitely be streaming a lot more when t7's out it just adds to the fun of it yeah, I think like 50 billion people are going to be streaming t7 oh yeah a lot right. people are going to be streaming directly from the ps3 and people already do that now with tag 2 streaming directly out of uh the xbox one so mm, yeah like when like when xbox one uh got tag 2 there were so many streams of uh, Tag 2 going on at that time. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I know there's going to be a shit ton of streams with, uh, with T7, but we'll see. Uh, just, I haven't had an experience with uh, from your console streaming, but do you know, is, it, is the stream like, you can't modify it, it's like only a direct stream, right? It's only a direct stream from your console. Uh, so. I see. You can set it up to where it can, uh, you can plug in your headset into um, your controller and it will act as your mic. Okay. But, um, like, say you press your center button, it will go into a whole other interface for the stream um, and it won't show any of that or any, like, any, like, little achievement that will pop up. It will, like, blur it out, pixelate it like a bad J AV movie. Okay. Uh,. Hmm. I see. Yeah, I don't know. Like there'll be a lot of streams for T seven, but I mean it. It will. It will be interesting to see who will strive and like get the most viewers out of um, Tekken. I guess. Dude, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be streaming like before I go to work in the morning, and then as soon as I get home at night. Yeah. I'm gonna be streaming. I'm gonna be streaming a lot too, and nobody's gonna be watching me. Yeah, nobody's gonna be watching me either. Fuck that. I'm gonna be streaming fucking practice mode. I don't give a shit. God. Same shit for me. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm, I will probably actually play ranked in seven, so I might actually get a viewer. Ooh, yeah, because I could have like fucking. I, this hasn't happened here in in Florida. I could have fucking JDCR beside me and fucking Jimmy Tran on the other side of me, and you'd get like five viewers. But anybody would watch any, like uh, fucking Johnny Donuts sixty nine four twenty. <laughs> play fucking ranked and get his ass whooped at third dan for nine hours and yeah, then donate the th money the so, thing the thing is is that they won't ranked. don't they won't one it won't they won't donate money and the people that actually watch Te tekken will actually be in your stream that's how it works oh i understand yeah, yeah. i know i know meanwhile johnny donuts 420 will be playing ranked and getting uh Donations from people that watch Tekken once a month. Yeah, but like I'll stream and I'll have like people here and we'll be rotating out like like four or five good players. Like they can actually learn something from if you watch them and I'll interact with the stream and everything. And there will be people who actually watch Tekken streams on the regular and come in and be like, "Hey, can you play ranked?" I'm like, "Fuck, 
Seriously? You guys should play ranked. Yeah, yeah right? all right, dude. Got the real life ranked right here. <laughs> I have a secret ranked account that I haven't played in like two years. Oh, dang. <laughs> I played it for like three or four settings and got up in the blues and didn't play it since. Uh, it's my secret. It's a fun time. Yeah, actually, it was pretty fucking boring. I don't know. I, I like streaming tech, and I like losing to bad players, and uh, me just getting mad. It's so fun. I think that's a whole other topic that Derek and I were again talking about. Like, I don't know that we want to go into it now, considering that we're already sort of over the time we're we were talking about talking. Go into it, whatever. No, maybe that's probably a good one to say for next time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, personas and personalities on streams that may or may not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you. You mean you mean my personality? Look. Oh yeah, yeah. You're just it's yeah, the goddamn yeah. scene, pal. You are so toxic to the scene. Am I? <laughs> what? Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. When when I think of the people that you know, I that I I want to just remove from the scene. The first one is in, 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 yeah. I know. instantly. I know. Look, man, I know I'm not good. Relax. But you know, what? I like the way you look directly at the cam on that one. That was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh dang! Yeah, it's like mm, mm. delicious. Don't worry, it's it's cool to be a toxic streamer these days. Lol. Oh, Tyler, oh no, that's really what generates views. It's all yeah. about having the kinda, personality. Kinda how it is. It's, yeah, I yeah, mean, and but those ahead, are those are on the extreme views. I I would say those are the people that I wouldn't say don't that. care about their chat and shit like that. I mean, it's whatever. Like those guys have their fan base. And they leak into other fan bases, and it leaks into other people, but that usually doesn't last for too long. So I wouldn't say that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. I, I noticed a lot of uh, newer players are also extremely toxic. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. It depends on who they play with, though. Well, because like well, they, they, they start copying, uh, you know, the more popular streamers. But, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, that's true. Anyway, we'll touch on that next time. Yeah. I think, uh, as Cody mentioned, we're pretty much out of time, uh, like 20 minutes ago. Well, yeah, I've had to pee for like an hour and a half. Now. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I just left. I just left. I, like, I gotta go. <laughs> you just up forward your way all the way to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Dash. Well, it's been a good stream again. So, yay! Uh, next week we will have uh, Nick the Jesus. AKA off in bed on uh, as a guest on our stream. And uh, after that, I think um, merchandise <laughs> Paco wanted to be on there. So we'll have him. Paco is in Gandito. Yeah. Gandito. So it'll be cool. Um, uh, when, when we get Paco on, we have to make sure we bring up the, the beauty of uh, PlayStation home buttons, by the way. Oh, uh, mm. I guess I don't know. If you, about that. if, Oh God, how do you not? <laughs> Evo 07 mm. I think oh oh the the home button that's the most notorious PlayStation oh my home god button I know time. what you guys are talking about that was mm. yeah if you if and I don't mean that to, to say this that you want to piss Paco off but if you want to get him started that's where you go interesting yep anyway alright yep. guys if you have anything else uh, you want to close up here with or plug then uh, go ahead. Mm, not for me. CEO, June 16th through 18th. That's it. Oh, and the salty sweet after. That's it. Period. Yeah, done. Not even your Twitter? Damn. Uh, I'm not a self-promoting piece of shit. All right. <laughs> you, Unlike oh, yeah, Cody, it, I am. <laughs> You guys can check me out <laughs> at twitter.com slash A-C-E-U-H-H-H with an underscore. <laughs> Hit me up there. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitch. I'm going to type in Derek's chat real quick. Be sure to give me a follow there. Well. Hey, Derek, thanks for bringing me on the show, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, look at that face. He switches on the drunk right at the end, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. my information's down below, so just scroll down. Yeah. Mine is at and then the exact same thing as my uh, my Twitch handle. So yeah, we will have a. Well, I will try to have a um, 
an actual overlay, overlay <laughs> lol, yeah. for next stream. Uh, I, I was supposed to do it today, but I fucking ran out of time because uh, work got super, super busy, and I'm still at work, lol. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Good stream. We'll talk. Yay. Bye, guys. Avery, Avery you're never getting your hat back. Fuck off. <laughs> I talked to him about that today, actually. <laughs> it's a pretty nice hat. It was a nice hat. All right, guys. <laughs>